Shit. Stop at stopwatch. Uh, up we go. Oh! When you... Oh, he's having a baby. He's, he's, he's lost. Just the police rocking back and forth. Okay. Uh, to start the whole shot again now, the whole thing all over again, and I said it right. Zero seven zero twenty knots, and I'm fine facing right into the window. New York helicopter terminal, and I can't remember the name of the fucking place, so now I have to go look it up. Hmm. Here we are in Manhattan heliport, and we're going to take off in this micro light. We're going to climb to the top of the building three times, come back, and then stop, stop the stopwatch. So, where's my stopwatch? Bollocks. I've hit the, I've hit the right prop. On the runway. Just go down. Just touch it. There we go. Good. Oh, whoa. Am I alive? Oh, Jesus Christ. Where's the runway? There it is. Oh, yeah. There we go. We're gone. We're gone. That's what happens when you go below blue light speed in an engine failure. What is it? There you go. Cops coming up. Hold it level. Is it going to stall? Otherwise. Oh no! Don't do this to me! It's too late! It's too late! Just don't stall and go into the water! Oh my god. That is. Fuck! Paddy Power. And up we go. Oh, I missed it! Shit! I fucking crashed. This looks really bad. Brace for impact. Ooh. Ending. One I've got to try and stop this before the end. No, try not. Do or do not. Oh, thank God. Yoda, you are so wise. Nothing more will I teach you today. At last, I'm going to steal an airplane. Yeah. How are you? You okay? Yeah, can I have a look around? You can. Can I help you? Are these keys for assessors? There we go, nice simple start. In real life, when you're flying, you've got your life in your hands. So it's very, very important, obviously, to have the appropriate licensing, the appropriate training, including safety training, etc., etc. Whereas, when you're at home, in your flight simulator, there's no risk at all. Okay, she wouldn't even shake my hand at this point. It was going very, very badly, and I had probably made a fool of myself. But then it dawned on me, the four magic words, I have a jet. How long will you fly with this ship? Oh, it's true. You go, you go around Rick, though, a little bit. Oh, no, but the when we will change the plane, you know, for the private jet, what you told me, champagne. Oh, yeah, uh, I lied. Hello, everybody, and uh, today is a very, very special video. Uh, we're going to announce the winners of the shout-out competition. This next channel is called Reaction Review, and I've got to say, uh, for an X-Plane channel, uh, this guy is putting in a lot of work. All right, I'm going to hit subscribe on his channel, and you should as well. <laughs> up again I'm way too high and I've got to do the whole shot all over again which is fucking fantastic recording sound no where's rain where is King rain gone Fucker! this doesn't stop now I'll have to do this take all over again and I won't be happy I'll not be happy please stop please don't maybe do this all over again it's late at night Please stop. We're driving it in a bit. Hold on, hold it up. Oh, right. That one up. And now I have to do the whole shot all over again. Brilliant. Fantastic. Mmm. Yeah, nice. Nice. Floaty, floaty landing. That was not a floaty, floaty landing. And I'm way off the runway and I have to do the whole shot all over again. Brilliant. Just fantastic. That's just brilliant, that is. Okay, I can't seem to fly this at all. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. I've bust the gene in it. Um, 
Okay, I don't feel very comfortable looking at this at all. I think we need something that can handle the force, the G-forces that are applied. I sense much fear in you. Oh, God, he's back. I shouldn't have said force. How embarrassing. Yo, the aircraft kept coming apart because it couldn't take the G-force. <laughs> You'll be laughing when I get this down without the force, Yoda. You are reckless. Maybe, but look what I'm going to fly. Mm. Well, I'm too heavy. I need to drop those fuel tanks. Or two, see what you can do back there. <laughs> Okay, it looks like I can, I can just about keep it. Oh, Use the force. oh God, Obi-Wan is here as well. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, bloody hell. Stay on target. Stay on target. Of course now I'm doing floaty floaty. This is just not gonna do. Okay, you're gonna have to take the flaps up and drop the lift. Go! Oh! Okay, 140 knots. Hopefully I'll stop by the end of the runway, but I'm not too sure. Now, that seems to have done it. So Yoda, what do you think? See through you, we can. That may be so, but the FA-18 has a much higher G-Force tolerance. How can this be? It's G-Force, Yoda. Mm. Uh, it's nothing to do with your forces. Dangerous and disturbing this Look, let, Let's be quick about this. There's the dark side of the force, your side of the force, and G-Force. No. <laughs> we would also have a G-Force, but nobody can find it. <laughs> Time for murder, death, kill. Bombs will actually drop. I've highlighted it for you. Oh, it's Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. How dare he interrupt my tutorial? Bombs away. This is the Pipe Belong, the front and back of formation to besprechen. Im Süden hat der Gegner Zossen genommen und stößt auf Stahlsdorf vor. Mit dem Angriff stellen das. Und das alles in Ordnung kommt. Mein Führer. Steiner. Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiner war ein Befehl! Niederträchtiger Treuloser Feind! Feiglinge, Verräter, Verzager, sie ist ohne Ehre. Sie wird ersaufen in ihrem eigenen Blut. Yes, I don't like trains particularly. I don't like them, I just don't like trains. Must be something to do with this freak. Oh, this is brilliant. Don't... Oh no, I didn't get the train itself. Cheeky bastard. If it's the last thing I do... Oh brilliant, now my engine's dead. Okay, I'm gonna do a kamikaze. I'm gonna shoot the Jesus out of him, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ram him. I'm gonna ram him. I'm gonna take the two of us out at the same time. You're going down, you bastard. Yes, I gotta get you now. This is just humiliating. There we go, chop it all the power. Chop it all the power. Bollocks. Okay, it looks like we're gonna make it. Power off, it's gonna bounce really hard. Ooh, bit of a bounce. Bit of a bounce. Now it's not over yet, I've got to steer the aircraft and then reverse thrust. I'm using asymmetrical thrust again just to steer it. Don't go off the runway! I can't use reverses until I have it straight. Right, reverse. Oh, oh, oh! Bala! That's when, that's that's what that looks like. Brilliant. Fantastic. Oh yeah, now I've had power and it's crashed. Brilliant. That's you holding 
all over again. Fantastic. Reverse first stop. Fuck. Yeah, brilliant. And that's what happens. That's... That's it. That's what happens. Oh, I don't believe it. Why won't this work? Oh, it's gonna be a hard one. Now I have to do it. All over again. It's not all the cameras. And... Yeah, this is... this is... just... Fabulous. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Yeah, let it roll out. No, Yoda, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so busy looking outside and ignore the instruments. Still looking to the horizon. Never give it back. I know, Yoda. All my attention was reverted to making a video. Needed my words, not did you. I used reverse thrust, but the props out of sync. I failed. The greatest teacher failure is. Oh, you're just peddling easy answers. Pass on what you have learned. I've done it. Success. Hooray! A bit of a bouncy bouncy there, but everything's fine. I've organized, it's all good. Okay, breaky, breaky, break. Oh, not too much breaking, not too much breaking. I have it all under control. Nothing bad's going to happen. Everything's fine. Fucker! This brings new meaning to ski slopes. Let's go. Sure, everyone's dead anyway. The aircraft's heavier on the ground. So. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. Let's let's just get it started up really, uh, really quickly, shall we? Let's just move on. By some miraculous miracle, I seem to have survived my egotistical madness. My legs badly damaged as I neglected to read and understand section 5 of the Cess Operating Handbook, page 5 dash wood leg performance. Perhaps I could crawl. What? Oh, God. you again, please. Oh, no. Is that you, gentlemen? Oh, thank God, gentlemen. Oh, I forgot about the sound. I'm back. Greetings, everybody, on this fantastic Sunday. Uh, lovely, lovely rainy day most over most of Ireland and the UK. And France a bit here as well. A little bit rainy, but that's okay. That's good as well. I like the rain sometimes. Although I was a miserable little fecker earlier on this week. Yes, I know, I know. Uh, I, had, I had what we call... Oh, Two-Tone Murphy's on. Greetings, Two-Tone Murphy. Uh, greetings. Subscribe to Tier 1. He's, I've got to subscribe to you and, and, and help you out, man. Uh, this Saturday, <laughs> I want to, again, I was, see, I, I get you. I promise you, I'll, I'll, I'll really organise that. I want to get talked to Tone Murphy, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, I hope you can hear me all. Let me know if the sound is bad. Let me know if there's anything, you know, uh, in the stream that displeases you. You know, it's all about improving the stream. Uh, and guess what? I think... I think I'm streaming uh, on YouTube as well. Uh, I think. Because uh, those who watch the channel all the time, you, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing with streaming. Uh, yeah, I had a connection there with the video. Uh, I was up till... It's a simple little thing. I just want to record all the angles and you can't do it because it's an update and it might have thrown, thrown things out of kilter. And I was up and I said, I can't do this uh, on, on Thursday night. I'm laying, I'm going behind again and I threw my toys out of the pram, didn't I? So I just thought I'd have to tell people why I haven't been on, why I haven't been streaming. And I suppose I threw my toys out of the pram, you know, uh, and I, I never normally do that, you know. Yeah. I was throwing my toys out of the pram. <laughs> so, yeah, so I have a plan. I have a plan. 
Uh, and my plan is for the moment to, to uh, I want to do a Coronado review and I'm going to stream it uh, during the week. Uh, I do little short streams so they're not like four hours long. Uh, little short streams and then when I get a satisfactory working consistent uh, flight replay function or when we all get it, uh, I'll, I'll take my time with those cinematic videos because I like doing them and I, and I get very frustrated when it, it won't allow me what I want to do. So I'll take my time doing them. And then as time progresses, as the software improves, I'll be able to do them quicker, quicklier. Uh, and I think that's a plan, you know. So yeah, uh, let me have a look at the old, uh, let's have a look at the old uh, comments here. Uh, Oisk is on. Uh, YouTube and Twitch Oisk. I'm on both now, I hope. Uh, I'll have a look when they're in the cruise. I'll have a look. Uh, that's some of you actually I was testing it out uh, and it's just a black screen for 30 odd seconds and I got lots of comments with people saying oh it's a night flight is it <laughs> brilliant sound is good thanks Erox. Uh yes YouTube uh, yes on YouTube too so those of you who are on YouTube oh my god I have 70, 72 viewers hooray uh, welcome for those of you uh, uh, from y YouTube YouTube people there's another toy I didn't throw it the prop don't ask me where I got all those fluffy toys from. Uh, so yes, so so we, we have an adventure this week. Uh, this is another brilliant plan by Colonel Klink. Uh, this is, I can't pronounce the French names. As Colonel Klink is from Europe, he can pronounce them all. Uh, this Harry Potter place here, we'll be flying around down here, right? Uh, and we'll have a little bit of a joyride. Uh, then we're going to go to Colonel Klink's airfield he designed, and it's uh, our local airfield in, in the real world of flying. It's Newcastle in Micklow in Ireland. And he's done a su superb job on it with the limited resources you can kind of get, you know. Uh, so he's doing really well and he's going to keep updating it. Ireland is Europe too, I, I agree with you. It is. Well, when I say Europe, I mean the mainland. Because technically, I'm an Ar Islander. We're living in the edge of the earth here in Ireland. So it's not a bad place, really. It's uh, edgy, but it could be, you know, we could be in... Uh, we could be in somewhere else, somewhere nasty, like, I don't know. So there we go. Uh, all systems are go, and everyone's here. So now, what we're going to do, first of all, uh, I'm going to have a look at the Coronado here. It's not a full review. This is my first time flying it in anger, besides the video I tried to make for it during the week, right? Uh, so this Coronado, you know what you're going to get. So I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'm just going to fly it and enjoy the flight like any other plane. Uh, they They usually have, you know... Look at the, the shadows, the dints on the metal. You know, I always like them. Some people don't like them. I like them because I know what I'm going to get. Uh, I know what I'm going to get. And, you know, this is a Seneca 5. I flew the Seneca uh, 3, I think it was, in the real world. I was doing my commercial, Twin. And it looks exactly the same, to be honest with you. So what I flew, except for the interior. Uh, except for the interior. Now, I heard a bell going off there. Oh, that was Two-Tone Murphy subscribing for two months. Thank you, Two-Tone. Uh, brilliant. Happy days. And I wonder if the Thunderfly is going to join us. They're always welcome. Uh, so, let's hop in the cockpit, shall we? Uh, let's have a rook there. Okay, comments are good. Oh, 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 I haven't seen some of them. Deep future. Lima, yeah, I put in the... I'll tell you where we are. I'll tell you what we're doing. Now, those of you who are watching on YouTube and are new to the channel, okay, uh, we're using a program called flightsim.to and that gives us our flight plan. Uh, oh no, no it's not. That's later on in the stream. We are using this flight plan here and you just download it uh, and you upload it into Flight Sim and we all follow that flight plan. Here, I'm gonna put it in here. Uh, and I never run out of fuel you know, uh, so that's nice. So that's what we're doing there. Uh, and then we're gonna have a look at Newcastle, which flightsim.to. Now, when we get to Newcastle, I'm going to wait for everybody because some of you may need to download this. I'll give it to you now. This is Colonel Clink's airfield, just to give you a heads notice, heads up. There's another link there. Uh, so, uh, and if you ask me again, I'll, I'll give you the links again in the chat and uh, or if you guys want to help out, help out, you know. So, help each other out. That's what it's all about. So, enough of that. Um, 
now let's hop in so uh now let's start her up and let's get moving uh who's that oh i haven't out oops 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 i haven't told you who's here here's colonel clink <laughs> will i answer it this time or will i hang up no nah, i won't hang up i always press the red button i don't know why i like pressing red buttons maybe i shouldn't be a pilot uh <laughs> don't press the red button colonel clink hello mr Griffithson. how are we i'm not too bad i'm in good form actually good now that good. i have a plan i have a plan and i, I feel you good about plan. the plan yeah i like having a plan yeah i uh, like it when a plan comes together yes that was from what was that that was from the 18 yeah that was a long time ago i know i'm old ah and you're not you're not you know uh not at all so we're we've got loads of people here let's see who we've got now oh yeah i was going to say colonel clink to to we've got more people on from from uh from youtube from youtube from youtube streaming community so we're so, on a, so we're on a serious channel now on a youtube channel well a lot of people ask me why don't i stream in youtube and when oh, i okay. start when i started the whole streaming thing i didn't know i really didn't know what i was doing at all i still don't but i thought i'd just take it gentle Oh yeah, we nothing, have nothing. Nothing bad is going to happen. No. Nobody's really watching. It's just running in the background. Nothing bad's going to happen, and it's all good. <laughs> we have, as long as as well as yourself, Colonel Click, we have Joey Max sixty three Neza Wobbly Skitbit, who saved the, it saved the day last week because uh, the stream is choppy, and he gave me some technical advice to fix it, and it was brilliant. That's the beauty of streaming. Your viewers can help you out of a pickle. Yeah, yeah, that is very true. Yeah. We have uh, Echo Bravo Bravo Sierra Yanka, Yankee 2. We have Skyhawk with Aerox. Flywire. We have It's Nordically, as always, with Deep Future, who's brilliant. Uh, Daniel, uh, Daniel's with us. Uh, Flying Starling. Uh, blah, blah is also here. <laughs> uh, blah, BZ, blah. B, uh, BZ, H, B, Z, H. Uh, K. Jelson's here. Uh, and there's a few others floating around. I don't know if they're with us, but we'll see. So. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I decided today I fly uh, Coronado's 1A2. Where are you? Oh, it's not showing up as a Coronado 1A2. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, it's just one of those bugs. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for that. It might, it might click in. It's just for me. Everyone else might see it. You know? Yeah. It's like uh, um, the... Uh, uh, I, I managed to start it, so that's, that's a bonus. Good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to start mine now. Uh, more binging. There's more binging. More binging is happening. Uh, Grumman uh, Garman eighty nine. Do you know who that who that could be, Colonel Clink? Garman eighty nine. Garmon. 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 I wonder who's Garmonahan. Uh, who knows? Who do you knows? know Gar? Do you know Garmon? Yeah, I, I know. In the airfield. Uh, is it Gar Garmon Mon eighty nine? Is it, is it, Could is it about, I don't know, I, I don't Rings know. Bell. No. Rings bell, yeah. uh, oh, He's followed, uh, Captain VF4, oh, that's a very good name, Captain VF4. That is very, very cool. I wonder, is it you, Gar? Let us know in the chat. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Aha, ta-da, he says. It is him. Gar, is uh -huh. it you? Uh, for those of you who are joining us there, Garman is also a pilot in Newcastle, if I've got the right person. Might be, we don't know. Yeah. Garmon, I shouldn't have said his full name now. Doesn't matter. Uh, now, uh, okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to talk to my takeoff checks currently. How are you getting on? Uh, you... Not too bad. It's like uh, um, I, I I'm trying to uh, figure out my Garmon 1000. Or oh, your Garmon Garmon 1000. Yeah. 1000. Okay. So I just I'm just going to very quickly. <laughs> We'll chat in the cruise. I'm just going to show the people, everyone, so, wh how so we start. Guy. How we start. What oh, is Gar? Yeah. He says yeah. it's me, buddy. So it's Gar, and he's a pilot of the airfield as well. Very good one, actually. Uh, and he's going to have a great time here because he's going to recognise Colonel Clink's uh, Newcastle airfield, which we'll be looking at after this flight. Uh, so stay tuned, Gar. Uh, and he's probably got everyone. Oh, you can slag me tomorrow. So right. I'm just going to Colonel Clink. I'm going to run the through the guys, the the Seneca, very quickly. Yeah. Right. So on the Seneca, they're very easy to start. Uh, I may I may make a balls of this. I've got all my controls working, lads. I have problems with this during the week. Okay, they're all working. I've got a TQ6 here. That's fine. TQ6. 
Uh, okay, lads, having to restart his sim, which is a bummer, but no, not to worry. So, uh, first of all, in any aircraft, you want to check your fuel. Now, as you all know, I'm very good with my fuel. I always have plenty of fuel on board. All right, so uh, I'm what going you, to do what that. Do need, what do you need fuel for? Like, and I want to in the air, you're always in gliding distance, no? I uh, I have been for quite some time, but when I, I had a crash there once, remember? I had a crash in Death Valley. Uh, it, was, it, it, it wasn't a crash, really. It was just an unfortunate forced landing. It was a crash. It was, it was, it was a crash. Bad weather. <laughs> Death Valley. Yeah. And you learn. I learned for that now. Mountain flying. It was a crash. Right, Johnny F73 has resubscribed Prime for four months. Johnny F, you're a star. Uh, you are indeed a star. I praise you. I praise you. Now, this is the field here. Now, this is going to be interesting if you have a long flight. Uh, it's already on. It's off by default uh, in the sim, but it's on. So that's important. Cross feed. I haven't read the manual, lots. You're going to see what happens when you don't know your airplane. All right, so fuel is on. That's the first thing, right? So then uh, we are going to up the top panel here. Then we need a battery. So fuel, battery. Uh, I'm going to put the battery on. Da, 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 da. There it is. Battery master. I'm not following the checklist. I've turned the sounds down a little bit because you can't hear me. Uh, I'm going to put on all the light. No, I'm not going to put the lights on. I'm going to push. We're going to start the left engine. But first, ooh, make sure my mixtures are rich. Okay. That's the next thing. And then we've put on the magnetos, spark plugs, if you like. Uh, I can put on the. I'm not going to. I don't, okay. And then hit the engine starter button, which is here. So I'm going to. Zoom out a bit and start the engine and, and the sound might be quite low. Okay. If, I, if, if you can't hear the engine, folks, let me know and I'll turn up the volume a bit. That sounds like a Seneca. The sound is like a Seneca and this is what really impresses me. And if I open the window, you can hear the outside, outside sounds. It's brilliant. It really is very good. Johnny F says he can't hear the engine. Okay, let's turn it up a bit. Into general and into the sound. I turned it down because it gets too loud and nobody can hear me. But I turn it down a bit if it's too loud. Let me go back and resume. Now, I hope that's better. Johnny, I hope that's better. Uh, and the engine just stopped just there. Good evening uh, to you, uh, Bo, Bo Mai. So I've turned up the engine a little bit and my engine stopped because my mixtures just went, see the mixtures here? They just went down. It wasn't my controls. We're going to have an interesting flight, folks. So I'm gonna start the engine again. <laughs> you broke the plane already. Can you hear the engine sounds, guys? Yeah, the controls seem to kind of do their own thing. You know, they seem to mix the whole stream more exciting. Uh, so that's the right engine, and then the left engine is the same. So uh, boat magnesia is on. Uh, I won't worry about the fuel pump and starter. Uh, if you're not too sure, you just switch everything on up the top here and make your mixes into fuel. So now I have two engines started. Uh, the battery master really should have been off there. You don't want to bust a circuit breaker, but that's fine. We got a flight plan in our German GNS 530, uh, and then we'll take off. Uh, oh, I, I want some lightage. All the lightage, is that all up? Uh, yeah, that's just for a bit of atmosphere, folks. And uh, that. Oh, got to make sure I've got enough fuel on board. Colonel Click, I almost forgot. Yeah, let's get that organised. Yeah, how long is this flight? Uh, about an hour. It's about an hour. Ooh, yeah, well, to... if we if we if we following the flight plan strictly, like you know, it will be about an hour. Be a bit more we, than an hour. We, it might take a bit longer. Like who knows? Like we'll figure it out. Okay, it'll take a longer than an hour, I'd say, because you know I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, uh, I sure. don't know what this burns. I don't know, and I'm I'm yeah. We'll uh, see. I, I'm not doing any calculations because what I'm doing today is I'm simulating a bloody Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah there you go right two engines <laughs> uh and right uh oh yes folks there's a weather radar on this right this is really cool uh, yep, there is a radar there's a weather radar on this it's a bendix king and it oh. works so oh lovely that's nice carnado do you know i i, I like them 
I know. Right, so, uh, I'm going to taxi. Oh, I don't know how to work the autopilot. I don't know how to work the autopilot, lads. Uh, look, we'll wing it. That's what we do. We wing things, don't we? I close. I'll leave it open so you can hear the agent, folks. Right. Brakes are off. And now that I've done that, little intro to the airplane, I'm going to slowly taxi and Colonel Clink. I, I, I just taxi to the other end of the runway of everybody else, so uh, nothing bad is going to happen. Yeah, we'll just collide. Uh, yeah. I've, I've done this. That happened to me once. Oh, yeah. Uh, in 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 a, in a, in in a foreign country, there's another lad at the end of the runway, right? It wasn't in Ireland, right? There's another guy at the end of the runway, and I said uh, on the radio, uh, "What are you doing?" And he goes, "Just relax, stay there." And he took off. Over my, he went over my head. That's very nice, Alan. And I was like, "Holy shit." Flying stories from Crazy Madness. Uh, I think everyone's kind of... It doesn't matter. It's flight sim. Oh, this is... Is this the taxiway, the asphalt part, and the rest is grass? Yeah, like it looks like the, 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 wee, the wee taxiway is sort of an emergency runway, if you get my drift. Yeah. You know, if, 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 if the grass runway is bad... Like, you know, you can use the emergency taxiway, uh, runway, uh, you know what I mean. Yeah. There's, uh, Aerox and Johnny F following me. Aerox is in the Gripper Sim livery. Mm. Uh, Johnny F73 looks like he's in, he's in the Carnado as well. He's in the Carnado. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. See, I can't go to the camera and then back up to press C. So a little bit of jiggery pokery. A little bit of jiggery pokery. I t I, I, everybody. Say, I I like the sound of the uh, uh, um, one A two. Like you know, it's all. It sounds like the real sound of it. Like you know, it's like a big old Chevy. Like you know, while I'm idling here. Like you know, it's like fantastic. Yeah, I like the sounds of this Seneca. Uh, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to turn around and go ahead so everybody can go behind me. Oh, the sounds. The cockpit guys. It's like someone dropped a glass of wine or something. Oh. It probably is. Like, God knows who you have in the back. I wait for everybody. Look at everybody. That is so cool. <laughs> you, have, you have Norman. You have Norman in the back. Norman is not with me. No, you can't nope. get him on in the cockpit. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I can. Uh, can I? I can't. I can get him in outside. Uh, Norman, yeah. I, what's on? I don't know. Norman's, yeah. I will see. When I get the, when, I, when I figure out the autopilot, right? Okay. When I figure out the autopilot... Then I can kind of talk and, and, yeah. and explain things. And there is Johnny F, Air, uh, Aerox, it's Nordically, Wobbly Skipish, Echo Bravo Bravo, Sierra Yankee 2, Skyhawk, Deep Features coming back in as well, and, uh, Flywire, uh, The Bee Stone, nice one. I'm the Doctor's with us. And we've got Neza, we've got Bunker Titan, we've got Joey Mack, Colonel Thanks at the end, and Vocality yeah. is some someone. Uh, and brilliant and, and while we're waiting for everyone to line up uh, last week I was saying uh, we'll invade someone else's stream we, we'll, we'll invade well, I have to work that out uh, I have to work that out it'd be nice just to, if some guy's streaming and he's on his own with his mate or something we just bounce him <laughs> right everybody's lined up and ready to go uh, I have enough fuel uh, nothing bad's going to happen. And uh, just let me see where the autopilot is. Oh, there, it's there. And is my sight deck working? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, we're in luck, lads. One stage of flaps is coming down. There's a flap leaf there, there kind of hidden away. Uh, we're ready to go. Full power. Oops, wrong control. Full power, brakes off. Jam it in there. Everything fully forward. No lights. No lights on. Oh, put them on as I go. Which sounds nice, lads. Uh, just take a little bit of weight off the nose wheel. Oh, 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 oh. I would like some bumps there on that grass. Now, if you're listening to the sounds, guys, okay? Right, I'm going to sync the engines. Positive brake gear up. Gear's coming up. Listen to this. Blah, 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 blah. It's a, a very irritating sound, so I'm syncing the engines. 
This, I do this with the props of the throttle. Take the throttle back a, an amount. And that's another thing I like. The sound of those engines, folks. That's something I've been complaining about. And I can no longer complain about that in simulation, in, in the simulator world, can I? But it's something I can keep an eye out for. Oh, I'm turning the wrong way. Purple sim. Well, we're going out to, what was it called, uh, Colonel Clink? Um, something, Mont... Mont, you said it brilliantly Mont, there. Mont, Mont, Mont something, Michel. Yeah, Mont, this is, I, I have to be honest with you folks, it's, it's, it's the only way. I actually saw a picture of this years ago. And I put it off as... Not real. Uh, and then I saw it recently again, and I said, that can't be real. And I, I looked it up. It's real. It's not a fairy tale castle made by CGI at all. It's in France. Yeah, it's just sitting there in the sea. Like, you know, we should go there. Still no engine sound grip. Oh, yes, he's right. There's no engine sound at all. Okay, bear with me, guys. Uh, I'm going to have to... Currently, can you just fly around there? I'm going to pause for a second, okay? I'm going to fix the sound... Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look at this. What is it? Is it is it the castle or is it the monastery? Uh, bear with me now. I want to see. Just give me a sec here now. I want to figure out this auto. Why is there always something? There's always something. Game capture. Is it game capture? Desktop audio should be on. What's going on there? Sorry about this, folks. There's always something. There's always something. And I'm gonna fix it. Device default. Why does it change everything? Let me concentrate now, lads. I'm going to get it any second. Yeah. I'm going to fix this. I'm going to fix it. Now, the sound should be back, everybody. That is... I haven't touched this. I don't know what's going on. It's like there's a ghost in my house. Getting up in the middle of the night. Uh, and doing changes. Yes, thank you very much. You came up with that, and I probably missed a few of, of those. So, sorry about that, guys. And we'll do that syncing thing again. And because I've paused my sim, the mixture's gone off again. Now, that, right. <laughs> I must be getting good at this streaming stuff, lads, because I'm fixing things quicker now uh, with the help of, of you know people like Skip Bit and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, look at that. That is real. And there's documentaries on it. And I want to fly there for real, currently. We might do that. It's like the town. It's just, it's just incredible. All sound good. Thanks, Evo. All sound good. Right. We might get a, we might get a twin. Right. We might get a twin. Or you find somebody with a good fast air. That is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. Uh, what name talk mod is that? Uh, Mavo64 of that is... Would you remind me again in the cruise when I figure out the autopilot? What was it called again? Uh, you, uh, if you look at flightsim.to, it's UI... UI something. When I'm in the cruise and I can get my, you know, because I'm trying to fly, I'll get it and I'll put the link in the chat. Great, this is nice. Because it's really cool. Look, if I hit backspace here, all the name tags are gone. And that's why it's brilliant for me for streaming, because you can get the eye candy. That is absolutely stunning. That's something to behold, isn't it? That is indeed something to behold. Let's see if I can fly this and get some better eye candy. So, I hit the drone view. Oh, I want to be behind the airplane to do this. Yeah, because it'll crash. So I'm using my Xbox controller to angle the camera. And then I can press the C button to fly the aircraft. And now we're flying to my controls. But I'm looking outside. Very steep bank there. Very dangerous, Gripperson. Yeah, the camera, mm, it's tricky. Now that's why I like my, uh, my camera controls. Look at that. Stunning. 
Oh, that's real. That actually exists. <laughs> uh, now, uh, the crazy madness is going to begin. Because I'm going to start the autopilot. And then I check the fuel situation. Shall I? Auto oh, it's easy. It's all the same. All autopilots are the same. So I'm going to hit autopilot on the master. I've got my side tech here. In fact, I'll let you show. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Right. I am going to switch it. Oh. Okay. Use some side tech. Go back to that. So I want to make sure my heading book is in the right place. It's the heading book of this machine. There is the heading book. Oh, there it is. I see the heading book. And I'm going to head. See, the whole thing about the autopilot is a nice transition. So I get my heading book set. Uh, I'm going to level off here manually. Trim, 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 trim. Uh, there's a the speed indicator here. Right. Uh, I'm going to set the autopilot on. Uh, I'm going to go to heading mode for the moment. An altitude hold. I'm going to switch to nav mode, and it's going to go to the, hopefully the GPS. Yes, it's, it's, it's on, it's on nav mode. Easy. Effectively, what I have here, guys, I have hardware, so I can twitch the dial without having to use the mouse. And it's the same, pretty much, thing as this. It has all the same buttons. Sorry, I have to use my mouse. I'm pointing. All the same buttons. Uh, it's a little bit different, but it has all the same buttons. And they're all the same. They're always the same. But autopilots, autopilots can be, uh, you know, dangerous. What do you think, Colonel Fake? Yeah. A uh, little story I, I think I might be repeating myself. Let's get some iPad while we're doing this stretch. Oh, who's this? Oh, who's this? Uh, the B stone is brilliantly flying alongside me in a DA60. It's CA62? Uh, yeah. It is. Uh, it is indeed. Now, um, so we're going to have a look at Newcastle soon, guys. Newcastle is an airfield uh, after this fight. I think it's just about an hour kind of thing, isn't it, this fight? We're going to have a new castle. Colonel Click has designed it himself and is continuously going to update it. It's already on flightsim.to, okay? And it's free. And it's pretty damn good. And i tell you what, for those who are listening, the thing about Flight Simulator um, is that they always have the runways. Okay, they might be slow, and that's great. They have the slopes in and, and, and all that kind of stuff. If it's an upslope or there's a dip in the runway or anything like that. But in grass runways, they never have the bumps. You know, in their Newcastle, they have a little few bumps at the beginning of 3-6 runway. It's grass runway. And in 3-6, bumpy at the beginning. And there's little bits of, of areas, which currently is brilliantly done, where everybody lands at the same time, at the same place. They're always landing at the same place. And there's a little dirt there. You know, little things, a little bit of a bump. Uh, and he simulated all of this. Now, to get better, uh, but he simulated all of this. And well, that's what I like about a current click. Yep, my picture's gone. Oh, I, I messed up. Yeah, uh, it's like there's a ghost in my... Oh, I know what I've done. I know what I've done, ladies and, and gentlemen. There we go. I'm learning all the time. Complicated software, this, folks. Uh, now, sorry, I missed that because I talked over you. Yes. And that's... It happens when people come into Newcastle uh, and they've never really been there. It's good practice to kind of land towards the beginning of the runway. And they get an awful shock. Boing. Boing. Uh, and they get a little bit of a fright. So they kind of, usually you should ring before you go to an airfield. 
that you haven't been to before or look it up and study it a little bit for 10 minutes? Sure, it's hot. Uh, I got a question there from... Where was it? Who was it there? Da, 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 da. Ah, so Young Smithy says, Hey, what kind of mic are you using? This is a HyperX H-Y-P-E-R uh, and I like it because it has lights on it. <laughs> it's just for the lights, but it's quite good. Um, HyperX H-Y-P-E-R-X uh, I can't really... Okay. Maybe I can. There you go. That's what it looks like. Uh, and it's, it's great. It's a USB mic. There are better ones, but uh, for the moment, for the moment, uh, I'm happy with it. I really am. As long as you're happy with the sound, everybody, you know. So, uh, should I check the fuel situation? Yeah, that's yeah. might be. Oh, I haven't needed the mixture yet. All right, now, I've got to figure this airplane out a little bit. Yeah. At 1,800 feet. Oh, yes, okay. Fuel uh, left is quite low. Yeah, let's see if this works. Uh, so I'm going to lean the red knobs. Just I've just explained to the new people who are new to the semi. These are they reduce the amount of fuel you're using. As you go higher, you've got you, you can use less fuel basically. It's called leaning the mixture. So I'm going to take that back. I'm going to see what I should see here, and specifically for the left engine here. Is that should decrease or increase. Now, is there a fuel flow meter here? There's usually a fuel flow. Let's see the fuel flow. There we go. Uh, this is the fuel flow for the left engine, and this is the fuel flow for the right engine. And that will, that will um, decrease as I lean the mixture. Let's have a look. So it's decreasing. decreasing. Now, I don't want to decrease it so much that the engine's cut out. So now I've reduced my fuel flow. Now, if I take it too much, the RPM goes down. There's the RPM here, right? But I don't know. So if I take it all off, I have an engine failure. Oh, oh, see like that? So I don't do that. So it's a, it's a, it's a bit of an art. Oh. So that will do there. That's all I can do. I could throw passenger out. Uh, is he with us? Normal. He's, he's there, he's there. There he is, you grumpy old bastard. <laughs> There's Norman. With his son, no doubt. Uh, maybe we'll, 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 we'll uh, yeah, he's always hanging around. His old Norman. Good old Norman. Uh, we'll hear from him soon, hopefully. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we're going and, oh, oh, what's going on here? I didn't touch anything. I think I should climb to say Morphew. Uh, I wonder, I wonder, will climbing higher reduce my fuel flow? I wish it was digital. But there's a digital monitor here. Oh, the left tank at 4.3 gallons and the right tank at 16.5. So when I run out of fuel in the left tank, I want to use the fuel from the right tank. This is the danger, because so I haven't read the manual. I can cross-feed the fuel from the right tank to the left tank, therefore I don't have an engine failure. Right? The problem is... Which one do I cross-feed? I think it's going to be the right. Anyway, if the engine fails, well, we'll, we'll worry about that when we come to it. You know? There's Johnny F flying along nicely. Uh, 
uh, along with armed doctor. I wonder, will I slow down a little bit for everybody else to catch up? I think that'll be okay. Or will I? I'm going, uh, I'm going just under 100 knots. Um, took the few. Yeah, we leave it there. Uh, okay, so let's climb. So I want to climb. Uh, let's see how this works. So altitude. I've got to have a selector for the altitude somehow. Switch it here. I want to have my altitude to say... Is there anything coming up that's... Uh, oh, we go lower actually currently, won't we? Lower is better, yeah. Higher, you know. Go for 200 feet for the moment. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Gripper, would you take your Cessna 150 across to Wales, i.e. across the Irish Sea? That's from Oisk. I have done that more than once. Uh, I have done that more than once. Not a lot, maybe three, three or four times. Uh, yeah, it's, it's um, and a single engine piston. I'm just a bit paranoid, I suppose. And then again, you could say, in aviation, paranoia is sanity. Uh, I don't like flying over the sea in a single engine. Just because... Uh, my airplane is going crazy here, folks. Oh, it's now responded to the autopilot. No, it hasn't. It's gone crazy. Uh, it's probably because I'm using the SciTech. Um, so, yeah, you know... Uh, you don't have a, it's all over if you go into the sea and something like a 150 the chances are you know if, if it if engines don't fail it's very rare for an engine to fail certainly catastrophically is in to, in its totality you might lose a cylinder and you get an awful lot of vibration and that scares you to hell but it's very unlikely that an engine a single engine if you go to any school and all these little aircraft it's very rare an engine failure isn't there currently? It's incredibly rare. I've never heard of it in all my years. It's very rare indeed, yeah. That does happen though, and you hear about it. You hear about it on the news. You don't hear about car crashes. You know, you'll hear about an airplane crash straight away. That's very rare, but I have done. Current link. Okay. Okay, current link, give me a sec here. Your audio. Can you just talk, talk one more time? Audio is not coming through now for some reason. Let me just get the eye candy here for which was a bit of level off. Bear with me, I'll get the autopilot back on. Uh. Okay, keep talking. Okay, the guys can't hear you currently, uh, just bear with me, just bear with me for a second. Let's get the view here. 
So while I'm working this out, uh, it's it's just not giving me. Uh, it's, it's, it's the usual, you know. Oh, something always goes wrong, and I've got to fix it, guys. And you can watch me squirm. You might watch me squirm, and it's like, okay, he's I'm going to fix this. So Colonel Clink's talking to me here. I can hear him perfectly clear, but the guys can't hear him. So bear with me. Can I fix this? Trying to get Karen Clink sound working here. Uh, okay, so uh, after after Johnny F seventy three uh, resubscribed Prime for four months. Thanks, Johnny F, your star, uh, Captain VO four. We talked about him as a following. Uh, Young Smithy has followed, and uh, it looks like Ray Chandler, I think it's pronounced Ray Chandler, and yeah, Ray Chandler also subscribed for Prime. Thank you very much, Ray. I'm going to call you Ray. I know it's R H Y, uh, Rye Chandler. I would, I'm guessing, is how to pronounce it. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to fix Colonel Clink. We can't hear Colonel Clink, and that's just just it displeases me. I don't know what. Uh, what do we? We had a problem with uh, what was it for? It was the. Uh, maybe they could never hear you. Another TV over here to my right. TV video capture device up here. Is it the Skype we're using again? I had you working. I had it. See, it doesn't show up here in the mixer. So what I'm trying to do, guys, is for the viewers there, so don't go, what the hell? Uh, I can see Colonel Clink talking. See, that's me. You see the other... And there's Colonel Clink, it pops up there when you talk. So it's not doing that now where it was before we started the stream. Yeah, it must be related. Mm, voices, that's ATC, isn't it? Uh, I'm just trying to... I'm in the menu here. Aircraft engines are 70%. Uh, that's, all, that's all fine. Masters 42, so that's not it. Uh, and I'm falling behind now. I always fall behind. Um, you know. Always falling behind. There we go. We're back up now. Oh, yeah. Great stuff. I'm just eager to get your voice back here. Let's talk again there. Yeah, you talk away there, and I'm going to play around with this. Okay, folks. Every time this happens, I'm just I'm just talking to the guys in the stream. Uh, every time I stream, something bad happens, like the voice goes, or you can't hear a current clink, or you can't hear me, or it stutters. Always something.
capture. Game capture. Video capture from game capture. I'm just kind of talking to myself through this. I just I, I want to get you. I want to get so people can hear you. See, it's, it should be coming through the desktop. Your voice, and it's not. But they, it can everyone can hear the engine and the simulator. I presume. Can you all hear the simulator? Is it Skype? Let's see. Let's see if it's Skype. We shouldn't use the Skype. Johnny F says no. Yeah, you can hear the sim and you can hear me. You just can't hear Colonel Clink. Can't hear anything except your voice. Oh, Johnny F says he can't hear anything except my voice. Is that right? So. Okay, so. I got the sim and your voice. Okay, so that's it. The sim and the voice, but we're just missing Colonel Clink. Better to confirm. Uh, there's a big sailing ship there. Uh, I'm going to break off this fixing patchy uppy thing, and we're going to have a look. At this is that a sailing ship? So I'm going to f I'm going to stop my my. Uh, for the I'm going to pause my. Um, oh, I don't have to do much pausing. I can just use the camera lens. I'm running out of fuel as well, so that's quite disconcerting. There's some tall ships. This is the, this is another, yeah, this tall ship. So this is another thing. Uh, I have a, an add-on. Uh, I did a review on it there. And it does all the, the, the shipping traffic all over the world. Uh, I did a review on it there a while ago. I think it was my last top 10, um, my last top 10 add-ons. And these are obviously, because this time of year, you get the tall ships going around the place, you know. We get them past Newcastle Airfield. Uh, and this could be them now it's not live I don't think it's live but it kind of simulates it, the traffic it simulates the traffic lanes basically no it's not live no wow. and it's, it's interesting when you're flying along you know you see this stuff, and it, they probably do it every year, and they're just similar. It's, it's the traffic. It, it, what it does is it it's like it's like the air traffic you have, the AI air traffic, and they take it from the real routes, but it's not necessarily live. But you can have it live. But this is like it, it's not live. But it just has the shipping lane routes and has all the ships. And that's a German one, uh, Colonel Clank. It, 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 uh, hmm. Oh. I keep forgetting. You said, current Clint guy said it's it's a guy fuck, and I was going what? So yeah, it's it's it's. You see, I'm talking to you. The guys are going. Gripper Sims talking to his, to himself again, right? I'm talking to myself again, but they can't hear you. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna when I've looked at these ships, we're gonna get current Clint back. Uh, there's an American one. Oh, the Americans are here. Uh, yes, the U.S. Coast Guard is in France, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just checking on things. This is our new battleship. Um, is this the one that... Yeah, I'm not going to... There's a sailing ship. I was, was going to get political there, but I said, no, I was going to make a Donald Trump joke. Oh, look at that. They've really gone to great lengths to... God, I hope I haven't crashed in the sea now. Uh, that's a whole lot of them. Uh, and, and this happens all over the world. They do their, you know, they come past our airfield and you get... They're all different models. It's bizarre. This is Paddy last year. Well, there's one way off of the distance. Wow. So they take the GPSs off the ships, guys, like the airplanes, and they, and they have a they have a recording. So that's just really impressive. That is very impressive. Uh, sometimes I see them in if I see them in Newcastle and they're not too far out, and the student doesn't mind, or if I'm on my own, I go out. I go out and fly around them. Every year. Oh no, maybe because of the because of the. Uh, so this current thing talk to me, guys. Uh, now let me get back to because it's really going to mess me up here if I'm talking to current clink and people are coming on going. Your man's talking to himself. So that's the microphone. Uh, I'm putting on the screen here, guys. I know I shouldn't be using Skype. Speakers. Oh, maybe this is it. 
Is the output is the output wrong again in Skype? Just talk lightly again one more time. Uh, okay, okay. No, I'm just saying it's the output again wrong in Skype. You're back. Yes, it just seemed to have changed for some yeah. reason in Skype on its own. Oh, uh, that's lovely. That's uh, Microsoft for you. Microsoft knows best. Is current link loud enough, everybody? Readability 4 in kernel clink. Ah, oh, that's perfect. Can I turn them up in Skype? I think we have to ditch Skype kernel clink. I see now what my new plan, folks, okay? Yeah. Uh, can I turn the volume up with this one? I don't know. I have to turn it up with the desktop. Now, what's kernel clink's readability like now? I've I, turned everything I, up. I, I, I don't know. I it's like the guys, the guys, the guys were, the guys were tell, Watchers, tell the viewers would run everything. <laughs> the viewers, it's all about. What's going on here? Oh my god, oh, I can, it's I all can going see the lighthouse. Shit. If I have an engine I failure, I'm in big trouble, lads. I gotta get this I fixed. I can see the lighthouse. The lighthouse is huge. Hooray! So, current Clink is back. Johnny F says it's perfect. Evil hey. 5 says it's too quiet. Now, I'm gonna turn up the desktop volume way. Oh, that's perfect. Evil 5 says great, okay. So. Oh, good. That is weird, uh, guys. I have to tell you. Uh, I know I'm, I'm giving you loads behind the scenes, but why not? It's interesting, no? So, for some reason, Skype... We're, we're actually talking to Skype, and I know we should be talking through... Skip it now, says the sound is perfect, too. Skip oh, it, you saved the stream last week. Uh, hey, we, we hail, thanks, Skip it. We hail Skip it. Uh, All hail Skip it. Yeah, it's, it's great the way... Uh, it's great the way... So, so we're coming up to lighthouse, and it's like the, the lighthouse is huge, and I'm still like three miles away, and it's like massive. <gasps> Engine failure. Is it? I hear tones changing. Oh, oh I don't. That was another airplane flying overhead. I just a bit jumpy because we're running out of fuel. I need to fix this. Uh, maybe if I slow down. fuel in the left engine. Uh, yeah, let's go. I want to have a look at the lighthouse as well, though. So, okay, I'm going to take so a risk. I switched the autopilot off. Nothing bad is going to happen. We won't crash. we got a lot of people with us. Current click. What oh. the deuce? We've got loads of people here. Looks oh, like okay. lots, anyway. Holy cow. We've got I one, know. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty flyers. Uh, nice. We've got copper heat as well. Copper heat is new. Stairway to Bacon is always been with us. Some, oh, there's uh, Sierra uh, Lee Com. And Daniel's with us. Uh, we have Johnny F's with us. Solid Karma. Nice name, Solid. And we have Davo. Uh, and we have... There's a few. Oh, maybe they're someone else. That's <laughs> <laughs> Nordic with us. And don't forget Echo Bravo Barbers here in Yank 2. Daniel, a high lad. Aerox. Robbie Skipfish. Mike Moon is with us. I'm the Doctor's with us. Deep Future. Bunker Titan. Skyhawk. Current Tank as always. Stairway to Heaven. Copper Hat is new. Kate Jelson. Uh, Joey Mack. Oishk. And Sierra... Sierra Kam. Can't pronounce me in the center of the screen. So loads of people. Uh, I think we can have, you know, much more. Uh, windage, welcome again. Uh, I'd be there if my SSC didn't fail. Uh, SSD, oh, oh. SSD failed. Uh, That's no good. Stephen Pierce says, might do if you never did a multi engine rating. Uh, I did. And I did it in, in minimum hours. And now I engine this is about oh, we're still going. See, you can't pop out of the airplane like this in real life, folks, and then come back and discover it's in the sea. It should be yeah, nice. sometimes sometimes it would be nice if we could though, wouldn't it? Like you know, like little tricks us like you know. 
like trim tabs and all that sort of stuff. Yep. Okay, speed up my camera, kind of thing, to get some view here. Yeah. Turn speed up and plus follow me. Oh, guess who's here? The the lads. We have the lads back. I hear jets. We have uh, we have uh, two tone Murphy's crew. Uh, we have the Thunderflies. Ah, oh, fantastic! The Thunderflies are back, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you who just joined us, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have a look at these quickly first because they're gonna be around for a while, I'd say. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the lighthouse. The Thunderflies are a group of guys. And, uh, they fly. I've seen them. I found them ages ago. I was just doing a review, and I just was in Dublin, and I saw this group, and I could I couldn't understand what it was. It just looked amazing, and uh, it was the Thunderflies. So they've joined us. They always join us in the stream. Uh, and what they're doing is they're they they do displays in the flight simulator, uh, and they look at this now. Some of these guys, folks, right? This is very hard to do. Uh, this kind of formation flying. And they're practicing practicing this every single day. And look at that in a flight simulator. It's very one of them, one of them is upside down. Uh, and they practice this every day, okay? Uh, and it's quite remarkable. I on one stream actually, right? I said I'm going to stay. Uh, I'm going to stay. Everyone else went to bed because there was work the next day, and I stayed on to about oh four in the morning, trying to keep up with them. And uh, it's hard. It's hard. Then I got my VR headset on. It was a bit easier. But it's hard. This takes an awful lot of perfectionism. Uh, and they're really nailing it. And every time I see them, there's more and more up front. You know? It used to be a point of the few straggling behind, like I was, trying to keep up. There's the Fireflies. Let's see who's with us with the Fireflies. Uh, we have, in the Firefly community, <laughs> HCBR1100. We have, I think it's Madison Lake. Then we have uh, Frozen. We have Steve Solo UK, uh, Skydive Man, Test Pilot, Bombat, and Dennis. So welcome, welcome, Dennis. Dennis, Dennis, Dennis uh, GD. The, the the menace. <laughs> Dennis the menace. So we'll see a lot of those guys. Uh, we'll see a lot of the Thunderflies tonight. I hope. I sincerely hope. This is the lighthouse. Yeah. Someone's landed there. Uh, Seriously? So, uh, well, he crashed. Nah. He must have crashed. Isn't it? Isn't it King Air? Mike Moon, well, welcome. He landed there. How did he do that? Oh, he probably crashed. I don't know. <laughs> so the, the, the question is, how is it going to take off? <laughs> yep. But he's there. Mike Moon, welcome. Uh, welcome to our little club. Uh, you know, it's it's. Ah, uh... uh, he says uh, here. Hang on. Who's that? Uh, oh no, Oisk says, uh, Gripper, I managed to land the Seneca on a small island. If you have an engine failure, you might be good. I have a barrel of Avgas for you. Oh god, the fuel situation. Woo! Uh, now, look, don't say anything. Uh, okay, I'm in the sea. I'm in the sea. Um, yeah, I'm in the sea. Uh, yeah, but let's rewind time. Yeah. Uh, it's water. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have a drink out of my crazy grips and mug. That's what happens. <laughs> That's what happens when uh, you, you jump out of your airplane and start looking at lighthouses. It was a fuel, so the autopilot couldn't. See this? This is what happened. The autopilot couldn't. Uh, keep the aircraft straight and it just went, went down. So let's, let's fix that, shall we? Right, so let's just pretend it just happened. Oh, I'm getting RPM from both engines. Who is that? How can I get RPM from both engines? I'm getting manifold pressure. Now, the left engine has failed, okay? It's going to the left because the other engine is pushing the airplane forward. So it can. Yo, see? So it just spiraled all the way into the into the water. Because I was off chatting and looking at my eyes and thunderflies. Well I think we should blame the thunderflies. What do you think? Huh? We should blame the thunder no, we can't blame the thunderflies. No, we can't. We need no. someone to blame. It's never uh who can blame. Uh, uh it's 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 the it's the fuel line grounding. We'll just blame uh 
Trying to think. It's your fault. Oh. Oh, my fault. Why is it yeah. my fault? Oh, uh, what did I do? It, 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 uh, you don't have the right paperwork. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, engine failure. Now. I think, uh, I think, I think it's Grippa Sim's fault. He didn't have the right t-shirt. Yeah. We, we, we'll pretend that just didn't <laughs> only actually. Yeah, they didn't have the right clothes. I didn't look right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So that's what happens uh, when you fall asleep in an airplane. Let's say we fell asleep. We fell asleep? Nah, yeah. never happens. Let's have a look at the comments. Uh, clipped. Ray clipped it. Brilliant. Uh, Karen Clink, they can clip videos. That's the thought oh, okay. They can clip videos, and it's great when people... I love it when people clip videos, and it stays it stays in the stream. I might, uh, I might put that on YouTube. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? So, major failure. Now, uh, this is something in real aviation that... Uh, when I fly the train, I really want to know how to do this. So, now, I don't know, because I haven't read the manual. What you can do is you can change the fuel from the right tank into the left tank, and it's called crossfeed. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So, what I'm going to do here is... Can I put it back on autopilot? Let's see the autopilot here. I wonder why the autopilot disconnected. I'd say the autopilot disconnected, which it would. If an airplane, if you... If it goes out too much... Of it's like if you get if you're an autopilot and you try and force against the autopilot, it, it should disconnect. If it's a good one. Well, so it's like um, if you have like uh, input for a period of time uh, uh, against the autopilot, it should disconnect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, the older ones did not. But anyway, no. uh, I'd say it went over. It, the engine was going here, and it just well, over it went, and then the autopilot disconnected and it went beyond that. Anyway, so there's a whole load of stuff. Let's say engine failure, right? So, okay. So, if the engine just fell now, okay, you shit your pants uh, for about five seconds and you put in right rudder. So, I take the autopilot off, right? Uh, so, oh shit. So, you lower the nose a bit and use rudder to straighten it, which is just what I'm doing, doing here, okay? So, I got the rudder. I lower the nose because I want to keep the speed fast enough because if the speed is very slow, if I was taken off, for example, okay, this is for the big jets as well. Uh, the aircraft will, the air aircraft will nose over. It, it'll go your nose over, okay? Very dangerous. So you lower the nose and you control the rudder. And you want to get that ball. Look at the ball here. See the little ball? The balance ball should be in the centre. It's like a spirit level, okay? And you want to get that in the centre with the rudder. See, I'm letting go of the rudder there now. So that's it. So you lower the nose and you get about you maybe 500 feet climb. It's a speed called blue line speed. Now, if I go really slowly here, right, eventually the airplane will nose over. I'll do that one day in a video. So, so the first thing is you shoot your pants. You lower the nose a bit, you put in right rudder to keep the aircraft straight so it doesn't roll on you all, right? Then you want to sit down. Make sure you shut down, listen, the right engine. Now, when I say the right engine, do I mean shut down the right engine? as in the right-sided engine, yeah? So I wouldn't be in the cockpit saying, oh my God, make sure you switch off the right engine. And then you switch off the only engine you have, right? So, so the proper terminology is uh, make sure you switch off the correct engine, isn't it? That's a big thing. Yeah. Of course here. So now what I'm gonna do is, okay, so identify the engine basically, right? So uh, it is definitely the left engine. So first of all, I know it because on the rudder pedals, my dead leg, is a dead engine. That's a, a very nice, easy way to kind of know that. So that's one confirmation. The next confirmation is I'm going to take the throttle for the left engine, which I think has failed. You can see here the instruments also tell me, right? RPM is gone. The left engine. So I take the power back. That's a secure warning light. Okay. Just leave it there for the moment, right? Uh, and then I then the left prop. So great. Now I know it's the left engine. So I put the mixture off for the left engine. Oh, it did both there now. Okay, that was just my controls were messed up. Uh, and then you start switching off magnetos and fuel systems and all that kind of stuff. So that's the important bit. So I'm gonna put the, I wanna restart the left engine with the cross feed, okay? Now seeing as the prop is already spinning on the left, it'll start up without me having to hit the starter button. So I'll put the, the left engine 
uh, a feather, feather, it's feathers, okay, so let's start from first. Feathering means the prop will go from this angle, so all the air is pushing against the prop now because it's just windmilling and it's like a saucer, it's, dra it's drag, it slows you down, so I put, I put the prop like this, so it's, it's not causing any drag. So let's start it up again, let's uh, make sure we can cross feed. So the minute I put fuel in here, I have to keep applying manually here now, so, so control one. I don't know the cross feed, this might fail the right engine. It should be it should be on the right side, no? So if you want to cross feed from the right to the left, no? It, it's it, it's different. It can be different. Uh, it can be confusing. It's one of those things in aviation I've always found to be, you know, there's no logic. So now, so and now I can see that we put the cross feed. I think it's the left engine to cross feed. So that would make sense to me now after what happened there. Oh. So, let's put the mixture in the left engine. Now the left engine's back again. Now I've learned something new about the Seneca. Uh, but this is why flight simulations are great. So we've got the left engine back now and we're all operating off the left hand tank. So I got my engine back. So, let's recap there. Put all the product back on. And I put it on nav. Now, so, you see there, when I was flying there, I failed I failed the only operating engine, right? Because I was going, oh, maybe I put the cross feet on on the right engine, but that switches it off. Now we see the logic here of the off button. So you put the cross feet on on the failed engine in this one. So there's the logic. So as you can imagine, if you're doing that in real life and you got it wrong, that's why you should read the manual. So that's, you know, if I were to do now a test for learn how to fly the Seneca, uh, Seneca 5, to start to a very valuable lesson. There you go, Colonel Clay. That's the end of this lesson. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's the so end of me rabbiting did you, on. Did you save the day? Yeah. Ray, Ray uh, Shander says, a blue line equals VMA, and you're absolutely right. That's what we're kind of fish. Can I demonstrate the blue line speed? I do that, I do that on stream. I do that on uh, day's work. Blue line speed, guys. Let's see how this works. On course, and we're looking good. Then I worry about the field again. Right. So I'm gonna head now to the next waypoint here. difficult for me because I can't say left and right because it's very confusing because the camera's reversed. This is my right hand, but as you see it, it's, it's my left hand. That's a difficulty, but I'll explain it very simply. Uh, I'll just zoom out my, my uh, configure video. I'll get good at this, folks. So, uh, we've got two engines. There's my fingers. Right, there's the engines. Uh, this one stops, okay? That means that the live engine is pushed forward and it yaws the airplane. That causes drag, okay? And also, the failed engine here is causing a shitload of drag, so it just goes boom, right? Now, if you've got enough speed, you still have airflow over the fin here. The uh, horizontal stabilizer, or whatever you want to call it, right? So, which was a failed engine, wasn't this one? <laughs> anyway, so you get this yawing motion. So, if you're going fast enough, you're okay. As long as you lower the nose and put rudder in to keep the, the aircraft straight. Otherwise, if you're climbing, it'll just go and you're down, you're gone. In simple terms, that's a new line speed, so you have to keep a certain speed. Did I explain that correctly? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I hope so. There goes the Thunderflies. Skydive man's with them as well. There's Dennis, there's Wombat, uh, Test Pilot. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Really nicely done. Let's have a look at some of the comments. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I'm really 
deemed highlighted by the message. So I actually think blue line is V V X S E V yeah it is your speed yeah well is it V X or V Y V X is your best angle of climb speed you have V X S E that's single engine so the failed engine so you can climb as you climb at V X single engine speed and that's the, the the blue line speed you don't want to go slower than the blue line speed because you don't have rudder rudder authority then anymore isn't it. Right, what's happening? I'm boring you, we're just looking at the car. Oh, there goes Fireflies again, and I missed it. I'll be back. Let's just get the camera and uh, set the position. So that was a lighthouse. Yeah, I was I was just figuring out that I kept circling the bloody lighthouse and everybody else moved on. <laughs> Are you still at the lighthouse? No, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm ahead now. I, I left the lighthouse. I put, I put the boom to it. <laughs> Excellent. I'm following this. Future is really following us there very well. Uh, Copper Hat is new as well. Daniel's with us. Uh, a high lad. Aerox, Nez is up ahead. So, yeah, if you guys are Nez is ahead, Aerox is ahead. A high lad is, you know, he's meandering around, which is great. Uh, and I think I should fly lower. Uh, I think the next waypoint to house is absolutely fantastic. Big burp. Big burp. Covid. You burped? I burped. Vertical speed. Oh, Altitude. You, you, you burped while 50,000 people uh, watching you. Yes. That's, that's, that's terrible. You did that on television the day before? <laughs> beauty about, folks, the beauty about uh, the internet uh, that I like kind of need this picture here the beauty about the internet I don't have any terrestrial television at home and I haven't had for some years like Sky or you know, I don't have aerials anymore but, take it off the other polish here um, well, I don't have that anymore uh, because it does take a while to get used to it. If you're sitting at home there now going, I, I want to get, I don't want to watch, pay for satellite. Uh, I don't want to get satellite. I don't want to pay for any TV. Maybe a tenner a month for Netflix. I do at least. But YouTube, I watch YouTube all the time. I watch documentaries. I learn a lot of stuff. Um, and it's great. And you do get used to it. Because the TV on currently, like, I don't know if it's just me, but... TV, it gives you kind of company when it's live and it's like your BBC or whatever channel happens to well, CNN or You see, I, I have the TV on like especially now with COVID and all that sort of stuff 24-7 well, not quite 24-7 but it's like most of my working day and that is basically so that I get the news right, so uh, I have uh, like I keep 24 24 hour news channels on and that is literally as part of as part of the job if I see something happening in the world and then something goes wrong at the same time you know in the work environment like you know be it an earthquake somewhere you might miss it it's well, like I watch you know, it's, news it's, all the time it's, it's not it's not that I miss it but um, you know if if something correlates like it happens in the same part of the world then the issue which I might, might see at work is related to the issue which just happened in the world so I find the um, television still quite useful for us that relying on the internet uh, as my only news source like you know what I mean I understand yeah you know there's been uh, you know uh, earthquake in 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 in, in, in Tala yeah, you know, uh, new slash. We interrupt this program, you know, this kind of thing. I understand. Yeah, um, 
Yeah, but I, I watch YouTube and Netflix is the only thing I pay for general, you know. But uh, you get used to it, and I'm, I was delighted. Sky then rang me up uh, one day. They ring you, and they say, yeah, hi, yeah, we see we haven't been on for a while. There's the thunderflies. We see, we see we ha you haven't been on for a while. This is a few years ago. Uh, and we want to offer you X, Y, Z. And I said, well, why? Why? Why do I want to watch Sky? I just go, well, we, we've got we've got Sky News. I said, but Sky News just talks about the same thing all the time. I gave her a hard time. I had a bit of a joke with yeah. her. And she goes, uh, okay, uh, what about the movies? Netflix. <laughs> uh, and I just said, it's gone. I said, look, it's, it's over. She had to tell me yeah. she's gone. I said to her, I said, you're, you're a great sales girl. Anyway. About this stuff. It's gone. It's gone. I didn't go on any further. What's the point? Pain. What was the pain? 40 quid a month. Oh yeah, no, it's like, uh, it's ridiculously expensive, like, you know, um, for what you get, and you have to watch the ads on, on top of it, like, you know, it's like, um, I mean, for all of my movies, like, you know, if, if, if it's not like a movie I buy outright, like, you know, it's, uh, um, I watch them on Netflix, TV shows on Netflix, on Disney+, Plus, Apple TV, it's like, uh, uh, funny enough, like I actually have a lot of subscription for movies because that's, that's one of the things which actually bugs me about things like uh, um, Netflix, right? Okay. So Netflix starts a TV show, right? And they are one or two seasons in, right? And then Netflix stops doing it and it appears on Amazon, right? On Prime Video. and then they start and there's another and there's another season or two and then it appears on Disney Plus or something stupid like that and it's like just uh, really annoying like you know if it starts on one streaming service and then it moves around and you have to have multiple s streaming services if you invested in a Far TV place. show yes I mean yeah I mean, it's got its problems, but you got to make your selection. Yeah. And because Disney's brilliant, but I, you know, but you can share it with your friends. So my oh, fr yeah. a friend of mine, he has, he can have my Netflix. Oh, but he's giving yeah. it. It's not. It's not. Anyway, it's not about the set. Uh, so I might upgrade that, and I'll watch his Disney, or you know, I might, you know. Yeah. So it's you can share it. Have a little bit of personal knowledge, you know. So it's great. Oh, so, I, I, I oh no, it's like I, I, I like it. It's like and what I, what I really like about it is that you can choose the time when you actually watch it. Yes. I remember back in the day, children, I remember back in the day, yeah. James Bond would be on a Wednesday at 9 o'clock. You'd have to be home yeah. on Wednesday at 9 o'clock to watch James Bond. Uh, you know, we would miss it forever. Yeah. I remember as until a kid, it's, oh man. Until it's on a rerun, like 20 years later. I remember coming into the end of Zulu and I was like, I'm so upset. Zulu's a great movie, he's very old. He's old from I was young. But it's a great movie, and I was, I was so upset. You never. How are you going to get it again? You won't see it again. You miss Zulu. Oh, you know, it's great. We, we live in good times. So I, I saw some of the comments there relating to that actually. Um, uh, Johnny F seventy three says, "Do you think ten feet is under the radar?" Yeah, I saw you doing that, Johnny F, and it definitely is. I think it's about well, under the radar where we're going later on in Newcastle is like fifteen hundred feet. Mountains. So it's line of sight radar, uh, which is great. Um, so ten feet definitely. Is the radar. I think it's. I don't know. Is it closer to the radar current thing? Because you know about this. Well, uh, if you're, you know, radar, if you're got some incoming aircraft. Is it well, three hundred feet? Uh, well, it, it it depends. It depends on the type of radar. It depends on the elevation. Like you know, it depends if it looks uh, line of sight, if it looks up or down. It's still line of um, sight. But they're gonna have yeah. satellites now, can they? Yeah. It, well, you you. It's it's from the top down really on the satellite, but the satellite is not there all the time, right? So if if, if you have a fixed radar installation, depending what the um, what uh, uh, elevation the beam is like uh, um, the, f the further the further you are away like the more they get like because it spreads sorry currently think uh, I, I just I was watching the thunderflies coming from behind me 
Yeah. And I saw trees, and I had to pull up very quickly. Oh, you were doing, you were doing gardening. I was gardening. <laughs> I, there, there was grass in my teeth. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Murder, Death, Kill, yeah. Crazy Madness. Uh, the Crazy Madness hasn't left us. <laughs> Always a surprise at Whippersnip. <laughs> that was so close. And well caught, I have to say. Kurt and Click, if you saw that, right? Well yeah. caught on my behalf. Just big reactions. I have to. Did I make it, guys? <laughs> I made it. That was, that was dodgy. That was dodgy. Uh -huh. Sorry, Kurt and Click. So we were, no, but, you were yeah, saying... But, Radar is, radar is funny in that uh, uh, scenario, but it's it's like uh, there are issues with uh, reflections. Uh, uh, you know, it has to have line of sight. Like, you know, if you're behind the hill, it's it won't see you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I understand how it works, but I thought in the military maybe they might have some more fancy stuff to stop people. So if I were flying, if I were to fly, you know, into Russia, yeah, uh, and I just fly really low, would they catch me? Um, depends. It really, it really depends. But uh, you see, if if it goes uh, 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 straight ahead, right? So you basically point it into a direction and you put the spirit level on and blah blah blah. The closer you are to the radar, the cone is it, 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 it's, it's, it's narrower, right? So it won't see you. You could fly underneath, right? The further away you are, the the, 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 the radio waves, they spread, the cone spreads, right? So they might pick you up, they might pick you up as an echo, they might pick you up for real. It's like, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, um, it, it depends on the quality and, you know, I'm sure they have which way it's pointing. <laughs> what I'm getting at, right? If I was flying an F-16, which, yeah, as we all do from time to time, uh, flying an F-16, uh, and we, we just map, fly 300 feet of the trees. Yeah, we yeah. Can make it anywhere we want. Pretty much, yeah, because uh, you are hidden by the echo from the ground. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh, oh! My left, my my right engine now is about eight. I'm going to go to run out of fuel. Well, you see, the good uh, thing is, the good thing is, if you made it back to the mainland, we're very right? close to the runway. Currently. Yeah. There, there, there's oh, plenty climbing. of runways. There's, there's plenty of runways. Slowing down, saving fuel. I, I might make it. Okay, guys, look at this, right? I have, I have about. It's hard. It's like five is unusable fuel. I got about six or seven, right? Six or seven gallons. So I might be a glide again, and I don't know what, I calculate this at all. I just try to make sure my TV doesn't turn off, folks. Uh, so. So, will I make this? Will I make it? Is this a grass airfield for a click? It has bows. Oh, we're right over the head field. I made it. So you have, um, you should have one tarmac and two grass strips there. Yep, I see it. I'm right ahead, overhead. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You're, really way, you're, you're way ahead of me. Like, I, I should have chosen. I should have chosen a faster plane, really. So, uh, I'm imminently about to run out of fuel. And uh, we've got, I've got maybe two, two gallons left for both engines. And, uh, you know, now that I see the runway, I, it's all, oh, it's very hard to, uh, there it is. So I think I'll come in and run my 2-2. Two -two. Uh, so I will. Now, one thing I noticed about the Carnado while, I'm, while we're chatting and flying it here, Look at the the, the um, static strips. They flutter about, Colonel Clink. They actually they've animated the uh, static strips. Oh, that's fantastic! Uh, and when I when I panic there, I hit the flaps button. Oh! Let the flaps fall off. I panicked and I hit the flaps, but I was going for the autopilot at some point, and the flaps were down, ten degree on one, one stage. So yeah, uh, there you go. Uh, hmm. That's a lot. So you don't. Pay attention. You don't pay any attention to your flying. Yeah. And uh, this is this is what happens when uh, you see if you're in the real thing, you feel the aircraft going up. You know the flaps have come down. You know. Yeah, so it's this, like you see you feel it straight away, really. Yeah, I don't want to button have this and set. Oh no, it's not doing it. 
So we're coming in folks, we're coming into land. Uh, I have to say, France is pretty damn amazing. So uh, everyone's coming into land there. There's Davo, there's Deep Feature and Final. And there's Stairway to Bacon, there's Copper Hash, there's Neza. Serral Com is new. Serral, welcome. And anybody who's watching this, right, you can go to the North European server uh, and you'll, you'll see us flying around. You, you can join us. You know, you can just join us. So, we go. since I'm, since I'm uh, dead last in we 1A2, like, you know, it's like probably everybody sitting on the ground watched me. Like, so I better don't fluff it up. Right hand orb here, I lose some altitude and get ready for landing, folks. Uh, oh, should be on, yeah. Oh, my lights are on. I don't know my stove lights, I should have had them on. Shocking. Uh, the real important things, though, is mixture rich, props fully forward, and uh, what else? I think that the Seneca is the best plane in Microsoft Flight Simulator so far. Either this or the Just Flight Piper, Piper Arrow. That's from Oisk. Yeah, I'm beginning, you know what, guys? I'm beginning to think I haven't found anything that bothers me, you know? I haven't found their server to make and I haven't found anything that bothers me at all, you know? Uh, it's pretty damn good for a model that you can hop into, and if you're flying the real thing, I should have run out of fuel by now, that's shocking. Uh, you, can, you can kind of arm yourself to to uh, fly it. Now I'm going to come in very high here. I can load the gear. Uh, guess why I'm coming in very high? Because I'm already going to run out of fuel at any minute. And uh, I might be a bit too high. But look, it's a long runway. I'll do some S turns. fuel but so if the fuel goes now I still make it glide now I've got to clear the clutter I've got a runway now clear coming down and go, uh, flaps uh -oh. no. it's not really like real life is it lads it is if you want it to be and flight simulator but I'm flying it like I stole it as I always say Do I have it there I always say like you stole it. Getting a bit too slow now. I can't believe the fuel lasted. Uh, got the pappies. I'm going below the pappies, but that's okay. I want to make this nice smooth landing feature of the rudder pedals. There we go. Very nice. I love the sounds. I think I can hear them better than you guys. But even when you're taxiing the sounds, you hear rattling and all that kind of stuff. So, so did you did you crash it or did you land it? A nice landing, I think. I'd love a replay function just so I can go boop, show you. Mm. There's the thunderflies, beautifully flying right overhead and doing. Look at that! Do you see what that guys is? A, a, someone clipped that. That is absolutely the way they did that. Do you know the way in air shows that they when they do fly over the runway current clink and they split up evenly yeah. into the star shape? It's like a oh it's like a yeah. Firework. They did yeah. that. And they timed oh, it. They timed it while I was on the runway. Somehow. Ah, that's brilliant. Uh, they've got to be, they've got to get on the Microsoft stream. We've, we've got to do something there. Uh, is there. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a official Microsoft stream thing. They have a stream, yeah. I, I don't watch oh, it though. Okay. I, I just don't get the time. It's not that. But I would like to. I will one day. Uh, yeah. Well, but sure, I can go and watch it anytime. You know, because it's uh, it's, it's, it's saved for a week. Very, that's very true. So yeah, it'd be interesting. Um, they they just fly. I don't know who they are flying it, but uh, it, it's it's all very responsible. It's all very responsible, and uh, it's too. I don't know. Where am I going? So I don't know. I've gone somewhere really crazy. It's like, um, I was, uh, uh what did I see? Let's watch everyone land, lads. And lasses. What? 
what, what did I see today? Um, oh yeah, there was uh, there was a program on uh, about the red arrows, and um, they were showing how they train, like you know, getting new people in and what they have to do, and like you know, some of the stuff. And you're just looking at it, and you know what you know kind of feels like, you know. And it's like, oh my God, it's like you know, because round trou round trousers moments. Oh yeah. Uh, wobbly skip bit, Mary. Very nice landing on the uh, Gripper Sim livery, TBM. Very nice wobbly skip bit. The savior of the stream last week. Uh, yeah. I think he sent me an email. Uh, wobbly skip bit, if you're listening, send me an email with your with your details so I can get a mug to you. Just because. Why not? And now it's going to take a while because I haven't arranged any. I need to get something sorted out so I can give stuff for free. There's a little bit of a uh, thing there. You, you can't just be, you know, there's privacy laws and stuff. Here comes Casual One. Casual One uh, is new to the stream. Uh, if we're lucky, they'll do a formation landing. Yeah, maybe the guys will come and do a formation landing. Let me get my camera ready for that. Uh, I don't want it too fast because it's very hard for me to control it. It's too fast. Maybe 30. No. Here comes casual one. Oh, he's in a twin, and very nice, very nice casual one. Uh, we hope to see you more of you. Uh, and we have a big band of crazy lunatics. Uh, I think most of everybody got here before me. Yes, they did. Now, next coming up is Newcastle Airfield, folks. Colonel Finks, Colonel Finks, Newcastle Airfield. Here come the Thunderflies. Here are the Thunderflies, folks. I still can't see their livery. Uh, I don't know why that is, Colonel Fink. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I might just load the airplane and get... I think last time I loaded the airplane. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I came back and it was there. So I'm going to do that now. Very nice. Look at that. They all did it. They haven't... Wow. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. So next, we're going to go to Newcastle Airfield. We're going to have a look at Colonel Clink's uh, Newcastle version of Newcastle, which is, is free, flights in .to, and it's going to be in development uh, for a while until it gets, until the SDK gives you all the stuff. Well done, Thunderflies. Keep flying with us. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out very quickly. Uh, I'm going to go to the main menu, and I'm going to load up that aircraft they're flying, which is called the, I oh, don't know when I see it, it's beautiful looking. M M MB339. MB339. It's absolutely stunning. It really is absolutely stunning. Just going to get rid of my face for a second. Uh, let's go into the aircraft. So I'm going to spawn everyone in Newcastle. Let me give you... Uh, we're going to Echo India November Charlie. So next. So Echo India November Charlie. Now, if those of you who don't have it yet and want to join us, right, I'll give you a little bit of a moment because it'll be chitty chatty. I'm going to put the link in again from flightsin.to. I want to hear what you think in the comments, okay? Because this is Colonel Kling's first airport. And uh, it looks like it's going to be... Colonel Kling, I have to say to you, if you keep going like you're going, this is going to be serious stuff. This is No one else is doing the bumps on the runway and all that kind of stuff, you know? Uh, right, so I just decided to land on the grass strip here. Okay, I'm just going to quickly load that aircraft and then I'm going to Newcastle Airfield. Echo India, November Charlie. It's Wicklow, Ireland. And it's going to be interesting. It's it's interesting for me because I fly there as an instructor, you know, um, for quite some years, actually. There it is. Uh, that's it, 339. So if I load this now, close it and go back in and join everybody in the airfield who's still there, those aircraft should change. I should see their livery. I don't know why you have that problem. Like, I, I can see their livery. I don't know. I think I think what I'll have to do is re reinstall Flight Simulator in its entirety. Or, every you know, every year, I think... Now, I don't have a lot of stuff on this computer. Yeah. Um, 
Sometimes I flatten, I've used to flatten my PCs every year. Flatten them, reinstall everything, nice clean disk, etc., etc. So here we are, on the ground, happy days. Nothing bad did happen. Nothing bad happened, yeah. Well, except for I crashed in the sea. Now, let me just change the daylight here, just so you can see, and let's see if the thunderflies, if I, if I can see the thunderflies livery. Uh, yeah, okay, and then we're gonna go to Newcastle. I'm gonna speed up my camera again, brilliant. Uh, I know my face is gone, folks. I know my face is gone, I just wanted to hop out for a second. Uh, now, here's the Thunderflies taxiing back. Now I see the liveries. They're going to take off again. Let's have a watch. The, I think they're taking off. Are they taking off again? Yeah, let's have a quick look at the Thunderflies before we go. So I've given you guys the link. For those of you who want to download Newcastle uh, that I put in there, uh, I'll just give you a few minutes to, to you know, because you've got to restart your flight sim. You know? Look at that. It looks stunning. Let's uh, keep the camera still here. There we go. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, Thunderflies, if anyone's on, how long have you been practicing for? How many weeks? How many months? Brilliant. Uh, they're, I've watched them, okay, and they're communicating all the time. Uh, and they have their own. I don't know if they're using the real RAF or the American terms. I, I presume there's a system for them to communicate. So Warhamster says six hours a night for two months for the main guys. Wow. Isn't it good to have the time for perfection? And yeah. although the thing about perfection is. You never achieve it, but you strive for it anyway. And you can't but admire that. Now, they're going to close all the lids at the same time. There, there we go. Beautiful. Skip it. Uh, thanks. Yeah, do that. Because I want to send that to you. It'll take a while, though, because I've got two others to do for. Uh, and I'll, I'll order them. Here we go. There we go. Now, I know you see their canopies open. I think that's because my canopies open. Their canopies are closed. It's just a flight sim thing that fixes it. One of the little, you know, Microsoft things. Uh, considering, right? I, I haven't heard anyone really complain about the simulator because it's so fantastic. You can kind of forgive them for the little bugs, you know, really. Look at that gear coming up, if I keep the camera steady. I'm working hard and I keep the camera steady. Okay, we're going to stay with them. We're going to stay with them, kind of think, for a little bit, for about seven minutes. Because I'm concentrating as hard as much as they are, keeping this camera action going. Uh, did you ever go to an air show, Colonel Clink? Um, I was once, I think it was, back in Germany. I went to Duxford. And I never stand still for long. You know, I like to yeah. move around. And I, I, uh, I found myself standing for two hours. Because I kept it going in such a way that there was always something coming next. There's always something crazy, you know? Yeah, no, I, I remember like there was like by, uh, by a local airfield, like when I was in apprenticeship. And um, it's when uh, there was one of the big jets, I can't remember if it was uh, a Boeing or one of the Airbus, it didn't matter. But it was like low flying, like, you know, and a steep turn. Like, you know, I would say it was close to, like, I would say it was about 60 degree angle, like, going overhead, like, you know, and it's like, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. One thing I'll never forget about the air show in Duxford, and that's the end of the season in UK, right? 
the end of the season, they're one, apparently they're one of the smaller ones, and it was big to me. Like all the shops, if I had more money, man, I'd so much of stuff I would have bought. Uh, and uh, we were standing there, and and there was like a gap of maybe thirty seconds of something to watch, right? And there was these aircraft parked in front of us. They were uh, yaks, old Russian yaks, props. And they, all the engines just started up all at once. And then they were starting. It was just, and they were right in front of us. It was so impressive. So impressive. Can't keep up with them now. Can't turn around. Now they're talking to each other now, saying what to do next. So uh, what happens is, actually, I thought they're all following the leader. They're not. Uh, they follow the guy next to them. I think it I think that's how it works. So the two guys up front beside either side of the leader. They're following him. And the guys beside them are following the guys following the leader. Do you get me? Or are they all following the leader? I can't remember. They told me. I think they're all following the leader. Yes, they were all following the leader, I remember now. So but how how do you keep the distance from the guy right beside you? He collides, it's all over. You've gone very quiet there, kind of think map your mic. Uh, says, no idea how they're doing that. It's just, it's just brilliant. Uh, I'm tempted again. I think. Yeah. At the end of our, our programmed scheduled events. Oh, oh, can I get my face back here? At the end of our scheduled events. Uh, I might put on my headset to see if I can follow them. Yeah. So they practice all the time. Okay, Oisk, oh, there is an air show in Shannon uh, when I was a kid. It was good. Yeah. They're not like the English ones, though. I haven't been to you. I'd love to go to Oshkosh, actually. But I, I, I was very impressed with Duxford. Uh, and when you're in, I was living in London as well. And every, all the time, there's something going on and they're flying past for the Queen or for some event all the time. And you're just about your business coming home from work and they fly low over London. It's like... Wow. Uh, I'd say it's the same in, in Germany at the other occasion, no? Uh, yeah, it's like, um, it's not, um, it's it, it's a wee bit more restrictive, like uh, nowadays um, with the um, overheads and whatnot uh, because of some of the unfortunate accidents which happened. So they can't go um, overhead the crowds anymore and all that sort of stuff. So they they have to keep some sort of distance if you get my drift. Yeah. Uh, it's like there was a there was a horrific accident uh, um, like during a display um, where a plane went into the crowd and uh, as it was overhead like you know and um, yeah it's like um, and then they went and said. Okay, we have to keep a wee bit of distance. Well, they go parallel to the runways now. They can't yeah. go uh, perpendicular to the crowd. Is that right? Uh, uh, to the they can't go over the crowd side, basically. Yeah. Because of what happened in this other place. There's another accident. I, I can't remember bad bad boss. Uh, it's like I I just remember the um, the videos and but not like and it was like horrific. I'd love to go to Oshkosh. Yeah, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah. That is the Thunder Plus, folks. Uh, I'd, I think I'm gonna go into Newcastle with the 172. Okay, they, I'm sure they'll, they'll usually follow us. Uh, it's great to have them around. It makes the stream all the more interesting. Main menu. So we're going to Newcastle, folks. Uh, I think that's a lot of time. Enough time for those who want to join us to, if they want to download the. Uh, yeah. drinks Newcastle uh, I think that was a lot, lot enough time no hang, hang on a second uh, I'll so, be back in a second yeah so folks I'm going to change to I'm going to change to something I fly there a fair bit I think a 172 will be the order of the day right uh, we'll do the Skyhawk of the Gurman 1000 and 
I will change the livery. Because we all know what happens when we change the livery. Uh, maybe they fixed that book. I don't know. So the airport we're going to is Echo India November Charlie. And I'm going to set, uh, I'm going to set parking here. I'm going to set parking. Uh, can I zoom in? No? Okay, we'll park here. So all join us there uh, in Newcastle Airfield. And I'm going to put in, oh, I put in, uh, oh, look, no, never mind about that. It's a start. So um, I was talking with Karen Clink, uh, and I'm interested in what he's doing. And uh, he, it's a lot of learning in it to do at the minute. Uh, I believe for the SDK uh, and it's getting better every day uh, and I, I I think all that I, I would like to see is the actual buildings but that's you can't do that yet you got to he's got to model them himself the actual buildings but the thing with me is uh, is the runway is the bumps are in the runway in the right place it's going to get better but they're in the right place and that's a theme that I think would really interest people so this is Newcastle Airfield. I'm very familiar with this. Uh, the coast. I'm going to put on a little bit of, bit of... I'm going to put on... We'll have a look around first. Let me start up and do a bit of a fly. We might go to... Oh, 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 oh. I've seen that before. Uh, I have. Oh, look at Newcastle, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Garman, Garman, are you on? Are you on, Garman? Garman, tell us. I'll, I'll change the weather to a little bit brighter. There we go, uh, lunch time, and I will add some wind for the sea, because you want to see the sea. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Uh, no, I don't want an add wind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's the speed? Just to get the sea going, you know. Uh, 15, 16, about there. Uh, yeah, that'll do. 21 knots. Uh, so, now, as I see this, okay, this instantly looks to me like a very, very busy, crazy Newcastle airfield. Uh, Newcastle. So, what's Colonel Pink's going to... What, he, what he's done so far, right, is he's got the buildings in the correct place. Everyone can hear me, yeah? Right, let me make sure I'm getting all the... Uh, all the comments here. Now... Uh, Everybody can do, you know, you can see the odd airfield. Uh, this, this is a good, I'd pay for this. If I saw, if I didn't know Colonel Clink and I saw this, I'd pay, I'd pay for it, right? So the fire trucks are in the right place. These, uh, you know, all the, there's a lot of here and the hangars are all in the right place. Um, there are the eagles here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the fuel station's here. Everything's here, right? But let me just show you, let me just show you uh, the actual thing that really excites me, okay? Now, this airfield here is in Ireland. England, Wales is over here, dead ahead over the sea. You can't see it today for some reason. Uh, and the taxiways are all here. There's dikes and ditches. That'll all be done. That's easy enough for Kirkland to do. But let me just speed up the camera a little bit because uh, we're going to do a few circuits here. And then we are going to... I think we'll go to Western uh, and then maybe Baldonnell, Colonel Clink. What do you think? Yeah, we can go to Weston and Baldona. Like, you know, that's like just a short hop. Like, you know, what is that? 20 minutes or something like that. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy here. He lives. He lives. There's a white house here. And Ian lives in the little house here. Ian, I know him. Uh, and he'd be very upset today with all the jets outside his house. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, now, guys, here's a bit I like, okay? Now, um, oh, this ditch is here. There's a railway track here, but there's no railways yet in Microsoft. The numbers are painted like that. The cones are there. Uh, now, here, let me just go right down, right? This is what they don't do, right? I don't know if you can see this. It's very hard to see. But there's little bumps here at the beginning of 3.6. There's three kind of humps. Uh, and Karen Clink has modeled that to an extent as he can with the SDK, okay? So the bumps are here, right? And what happens is, okay, people who don't know Newcastle and don't ring and don't look it up, they come into land nice and early, and they go boing, and they hit the crest of the first bump, and then they hit the, the crest of the second, and they get an awful shock. <laughs> uh, and these are the things with grass airfields you research before you go, right? Also, if you come up here, there is these little gravel patches here. This is where it gets a little bit smoother. It's very hard to see. The grass is a little bit longer. That's fine. 
But after the bumps, then you get these little dirt patches. Here is one here, okay. Uh, and there's uh, these are actually there. These are physically there's another dirt patch there, and all these patches are there up to an extent. And the, this one isn't bumpy, but this one up here, uh, this one. Right. So what current is going to do is going to model that with the SDK allows to have a little groove in here, and you know. Look at the colour of the grass. Uh, it's always a problem here in this airfield, these patches. They're always trying to fix them. They're always trying to get the grass growing again. Because everybody lands here, you know. I mean, why are they doing land in the middle of the airfield? I ask myself. Uh, here's actually much better. So this is the detail I'm talking about that I think Colonel Clink is mastery. Over to you, Colonel Clink. Oh, it's like, uh, um, it's just you know time consuming the, the the SDK doesn't allow you to go like into the minute details like you know so where you can take like a, um, you know a, a tiny strip out and 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 bump it up or put it down like you know so you have to you have to manage it like you know it's like um, it's not perfect but uh, it's getting there well, it's the best it's one like, out there. It's it's certainly you know, it's 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 a work in progress. You can update it, and as the yeah, ST goes, allows you know. It's like, uh, um, but it's 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 like uh, um, <clears throat> just to get the, the 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 shape in of the airfield. Like you know, uh, it's like uh, it's it's just a a, a a wee bit of time. It's like. Um, it's like uh, uh, what you're gonna do. Like you know, I have to put the grass. The, the, the hay bales in there which spell out at the moment EINC and all that sort of stuff like you know it's like uh, uh, so it's a it's a wee bit of work to do but uh, yeah Deep Fe yeah Deep Future says I'd love to learn how uh, how to do a current clink does yeah I'd love to do it too but the time that goes into it you know just to learn it you yeah know? these vans time. here these vans here this little sitting area here and then uh all the cars are here. This is where the sim is in here. Uh, this was where Paddy was. Uh, you know, it's all, it's all the fence is in the right place. Yeah, but it's it's really coming along. All those cesses are parked there. Uh, yeah, it looks to me very familiar. Now here, uh, oh, mm. this here is you know you got, so, someone always hits the side of a hangar here. Yeah. Uh, the allocation, poor old. Uh, I won't mention any names. He, he clattered his. Airplane off the side of the hangar. So, folks, let's go crazy and do some flying and maybe not run out of fuel. Uh, now, so I'll kick off this old, old, uh, lovely new 172. Uh, what? Yeah, shiny 172. Shiny. Uh, this is not what we're used to flying, kind of pink. This in America, you get this. You rent an airplane and it's like this. It's like, whoa. Yeah, you know, you just really take it for granted, you know. So, it's like mine is a slightly bit older. <laughs> yeah. Uh, lighty lights, switchy switchy, honey honey. Uh, where are we going first? We go to uh, we go to to Weston first. We go to Weston. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure the lights Why not? are. I'm not following any checklists, as you probably guessed, guys. Uh, let's make sure I have enough fuel. It's a short trip. Oh, that's the camera. It's a short trip. Uh, unusable fuel in these would be roughly. What was it? Uh, yeah. Two gallons or something like that? A tank? Yeah, probably about that. It doesn't tell you though. Uh, no. So I may not run out of fuel now. Uh, about there. And about, you know, uh, yeah, that'll do. That's lots of fuel, folks. Weston and Airfield or Place. Sorry, Davo. Weston is another airfield, which I've also instructed from, and uh, I'll be going back there soon, hopefully, uh, to do a bit of flying when things are sorted out. I also have the Weston scenery, so it's pretty good. Uh, now, great. Uh, that's the fuel sorted out. Uh, stop beeping at me. It's saying all sorts of things. Uh, fuel imbalances and all sorts of stuff. Master, master, master. Fuel is on both, and let's kick it off with the magnetos, uh, which are here. And we start the engine. 
Great. Breaks her off. Uh, ooh. I forgot the throttle right throttle. Got my throttle throttle right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, here, Bing Bing. Not Ghosty has followed. Hi, Not Ghosty. Welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome. I'm glad you think it's worth your time to watch. What is going on there? Someone's doing crazy stuff. Now, I'm going to try and not hit the fire engine or the trees. I wonder has Colonel Clink got this just right. Let me have a look there. Oh, God. Just about to fit through there. Uh, wow, you're doing a great job. That's exactly the distance. See that, folks? So we never taxi through here. We always pull it. <laughs> you physically get out and pull it without the prop started, obviously. And we'll pull it here because I'm terrified of hitting the wing. You know, it happens. You know, it happens. So that's really well done. Little details, you know, that no one would, you know, so it's exactly these are little things. Anyway, taxi on. Taxi on. And that's a helicopter there, stands. A few helicopters going on here. And uh, I just have to go through everybody. Bit of a traffic jam. That's okay. Uh, happy days. Very clever the way they've ghosted everything, you know, so you don't hit into it. I'm sure one day they'll have collision detection. A flight simulator. I have no doubt. So. So, guys, that's the plan. I'm going to do little streams on YouTube, not for too long. Uh, and then once I get the, you know, get the camera eye candy going, when, when there's a reliable replay function, uh, or whenever so. it's working again, I'll take the opportunity and, and, and do the eye candy. So, around here... Where I'm at the moment, you would do your power checks. Where are you? Hang on, let me see you. There you are. I'm going up behind you here now. So it's a very popular airfield. Uh, people come over from the UK and France and the Netherlands. Uh, they get looked after, you know. Do you want to lift to the hotel? Yeah. You're going to the pub before you get to the hotel. And they're like, what are you talking about? And then we get them. We get them. They have a yeah. few drinks, let's say. I'll have a great time. It's like America. It should be looked after, you know. That's nice. So this is a, this is bizarre for me because, especially with VR, because I fly from here for real, and it's like, you know, wow. Uh, and, and you really get to know, you know, guys. If you if you get a, just go to your local airfield, uh, ask for an introductory lesson. They're more than happy to have you down. And uh, do 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 an, an hour an hour flight. It's called an introductory. It's a joy ride, but you're flying, and uh, you, you'll see you'll see your local area from the air, and then you'll go, "Wow, this is the same in flight simulator. It's exactly the same." Uh, those of you who are flying now, tell me about the bumps. Uh, Rate now says, "Does Colonel Clink have any videos on how he does does it?" I'd love it for my local airfield. Uh, I don't think you do, Colonel Clink, do you? No, I don't have any videos for that. No, like, the uh, bumps here. Okay, it's bumping. No, not yet, it, anyway. It's, uh, uh, um, I'll come over and do it for you one day. Too much, too much, too much frustration. Oh, but I can do the video. I can come over and do a quick thing. This is no bother. Uh, but it's hard. I, each, yeah. you, you showed me one day, and I was like, oh my god, I, I, I'd love to do it, but Jesus, man. Now, so I'm going to take off and I'm going to do a circuit or two. So, uh, full power. Yeah. Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, it's a big, flaps. big, two, big, big, two eight uh, in, a, in, a, in the middle of it for some reason. Yeah. Anyway, full power. I'm getting bumps. I'm getting bumps. It's bumpy. Oh, 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 oh. It's really when you land. Okay, there you go. Three knots. No remaining runway available. Gears fixed. And usually you wait 300 feet to take your flaps up, but I'm taking them up now. So this is the standard circuit uh, that we do. Uh, those are the views I see every day. <laughs> the sugar loaf is over here. Is that it? That's the sugar loaf there. Uh, it's a uh, little sugar loaf straight to the left, and then the sugar loaf a wee bit further to the west. Fuel on the. Uh, where is it? Oh, oh, oh. I put the fuel on the right tank. Yeah. 
Oh, engine failure. Uh, switching tank to the left tank. Oh, it's not starting up. Oh, I have to hit the big Nitos. Oh, you little fecker. I thought it would kick off. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Engine's back. So I switched to the, the, the right tank. Save the circuit. You'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be grand. You oh, know. yeah. Oh, there's loads of fuel there. This is... It happens. It happens. If I had an engine failure here and I didn't make it, uh, that'd be kind of embarrassing, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. A bit of a long, you know, our circuits are very short, but, uh, you know, it, it, it is. I got to a thousand feet today for some reason. Uh, did I get the flaps up there? I did. It's a slow. It's just a slow old, slow old machine. Uh, it is a slow old machine. What you, what, what you flying? 172. Yeah. Far back. So this picture here, guys, right? Even this little bridge and, and all this kind of stuff here. It's all there. Make those down here. Uh, I used to live down here in Glen Ely. And they do, they do have my house. My old house, anyway. Thousand feet, yeah, it looks a thousand feet. So you can actually tell after a few years of flying how high you are just by looking at the ground, how high you are from the ground. And in flight simulator, look at the thunderflies taking off, lads. Look, they're going, they're going for it. Look, wow. Uh, when they make it to the oh, I, I'm going to turn early. I want to see if they make it. Ah, uh, they make it. No, they won't. Not that. Oh, oh, if I can get the view. They caught me off guard. Oh, they did. Okay. They made it. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, now, we, now we're turning on the base leg, and then we're doing a touch and go, and I'm going to head off then to Western. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to come in and do a stop and go. So, I'll take the power back, and I will lower 10 so. flaps when I get into the wide arc. And it's so. the Cessnas are a little bit more floaty than 172s. Yeah. So I, I lose some speed in the turn. Quite windy. That looks like an airfield there. Anyway. Uh, now I lower 10 flaps. I know it's a bit early. But the Cessnas do seem to float in flight simulator an awful lot. So uh, now we're we'll turning on to final. Wind is coming from the sea a little bit, it looks like. And yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, uh, I want to get, I, I'm, I'm side slipping with flaps, guys. I sh you should never do that, but I'm going to do it today because I want to land and show you the bumps. So it's like, uh, going to do like 20 degrees coming in right on 36. Guys, the thunderflies there going past. A bit fast, a little bit fast. That can all be fixed. Oh, bumpy bumps, bumpy bumps, bumpy bumps. And I'm sure I keep going. Full power. Bumpy bump. Yeah, very nice. All those little, all those little bumps make all the difference. All the cones are there. So there you go. That's Newcastle, folks. And uh, I might do a video on that one day. I've got too many flaps down. It's I find it fascinating when you're flying flight sim that your motor it's all motor skills. Where in the real thing it's quite automatic. Like taking up the flaps, I mean, and things like that. Uh, that's just a little bug, it's don't sink. I ain't sinking. I have to level off to stop him. Stop telling me. Don't sink. So where are you now, Karen, think? Um, I'm just uh, uh, climbing out here on... Um, and I'm just going to set the autopilot and... Uh, 
and turning straight towards Weston. Ah, we just not go down the coast a bit. Yeah, you go by the coast. So this is what we do often, folks. All those fields are there. It's just bizarre, you know. There's the. Uh, oh, that's the. Oh no, that is. This is uh, the next town is Kilcool, isn't it? Uh, it's Kilcool and then Greystones, yeah. Kilcool, that's Kilcool. We call it Kilcool. It's a cool town. There's a nice pub in there, um, which we haven't seen for quite some time. Yeah. And we're climbing nice discus in my county. Uh, let's see the camera. Uh, there's a sugarloaf up here, it's in the centre of the screen. This here is called the sugarloaf. Uh, and the sugarloaf. It's called the sugarloaf because it looks like there's some sugar on top. Yeah, so so coming up there. Uh, at Greystones and then Bray Head. Are you ahead of me there? Are you? I don't know. Well, let's see where everyone else is. Jeez, I've been waiting for everyone else. Oh, there we are. Everyone's, they're all taken off. Everyone's here. There's Robbie Skipit, the US, uh, USO. Uh, there's Copper Hash. Welcome, Copper Hash. Welcome. Anytime. And we're all going down to Weston. <laughs> I've never done this in the before. Uh, again, this brings me back. If this was out when I was learning how to fly, um, I'll tell you what I did. In X-Plane, they didn't have the features like this back in the day. They had all the airports. So I, I was learning how to navigate. And you've got a whiz wheel. It's like a handheld computer. And you have a map and you navigate by speed, distance, time, like a boat. And you, you confirm that by putting your eyes on features like hills, towns, roads, the road east, west, rivers, and other features, towns, shapes of towns, etc. Uh, and anyway, all I could do really in the sim at the time that I explained was, was do speed, distance, time. And I do it in the simulator. I put in the wind uh, and it worked brilliantly and I saved a lot of money. Right. So what I'm going to do here now is like I'm going to go um, fly to Dunleary, oh, then up the Liffey and straight into West. Yeah, like we usually do. There's the yeah. Funfice. Of course the livery's now changed back to the Jets. I, I don't know how to fix I might be. I might flatten my machine. Uh, I'll be saying that for ages and I'll never get a chance to do it. Uh, Davis says, dang, we are uh, not playing nice. Oh, we are some playing for him. Yeah, it's a little tricky. Got to be putting back of the yoke in a grass airfield. Yes, uh, you're right. In fact, we are very light on the nose wheel in reality. Oh, there goes my engine. Uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Oh my god, I have an engine failure. I'm shooting my pants. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, and I'm streaming this in my local area and I put myself under pressure. Which way is the wind going? Uh, 65 knots is my best glide speed. Uh, no point restarting. There's no point restarting. Okay, let's switch the fuel off. No. Uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, a bit of a bummer. Uh, I see a field. But what way, what direction did I put, did I put the wind in? You know, is there a wind arrow here? Oh, we've got a we've got a headwind. Okay, so I have my field. I have my field. We're two thousand four hundred feet. It's quite bumpy. Uh, I want to land to the north, so I'm going to pick a group of fields here. This one, this one, or this one for the moment. Uh, this one could be a possibility. Please don't crash. Please don't crash, Microsoft Flight Simulator. You could, you could land Microsoft there. Flight Simulator crashed. I'll be back. I'll be back, folks. My flight Simulator crashed. Flight Simulator crashed? Yeah. That's, that's, that's terrible. It's loading up now, folks. That, uh, at the most exciting moment. But I'll put myself there and I'll just fail the engine randomly. 
that's uh <laughs> that's that's uh yeah that's upsetting uh that's dang all right so i'm i'm gonna come up here at uh Klein now okay i'm going to spawn on someone to recreate that Fine. I'm going to spawn and summon, I'm going to cut the mixtures and I'm going to have to land. So we get this back. Uh, it, actually, that could be a great get out of jail card for me. Because I'm doing... I. People may be watching this. You know, uh, the people in the airfield may be watching this, kind of like. Yeah. And they go, if he doesn't make it, you're fired. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So... So I'm gonna come up here, Kalani Hill, and now I'm gonna uh, turn towards the Pigeon House. Oh, it says I'm enjoying the Carnado uh, C182 here. Uh, he also a uh, Rye Rye Shell 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 Chandler Sheldner. I use the sim quite a bit on my training, and I was ready to skills test at 40 hours. Uh, Begun my test of 46 hours. Very well done because the minimum legal is 45 hours. And you know what? It does help. But, you know, if you're thinking of using the sim, talk to, before you do anything in the sim related to your training, talk to your instructor first and he'll steer you the right way to do things properly because you can get bad habits and, you know, learn things. And what's first learned is best remembered, isn't it? You know? Yeah. Joey Mac Designs, ah Jesus, uh, I was working night shifts on site all last week, oh bummer. Uh, who else there? Joey Mac Designs, uh, my, my upside down comment above was meant to say, I was working night shifts all last week near Dunleary. And here I am flying over the place again tonight. Okay, so that's where we're heading to Dunleary. <laughs> and, he's like, and we're going again. Joey Mac, yeah, well, you know, you, 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 it's, you can't get away from it. Yeah. Night shifts. I used to do, I did night shifts for a short time. I couldn't do it. It's a, it's could, a lovely place, Dunleary. It was a weird company, IT. Yeah. Dunleary, I used to have a shop in Dunleary. Did you? Computer shop selling Sega Mega Drives and computer games and all sorts of stuff. Peripherals, calculators. So, I'm just trying to fill time while. So, so I'm coming up <laughs> the stacks now, having having the stress. Desperately, like, desperately. Stress at the moment. Okay, now I'm under pressure now because the minute oh I can't see anyone. Okay, I'll do somewhere where we we're about. We're about here. Okay, I'm gonna spawn here. Uh, and why can't I fly? Oh, you can spawn in Dunleary. Oh, really. Spawn in Copper Hat here. Well, I'm right oh. beside him. Why won't it? So it's departure. Oh. Now, uh, I don't know what height I'll be at. Um, I'll have to recreate that somehow. Please be above 2,000 feet. Otherwise, I'm stuffed. I have to keep my promises. It's all the fun of watching the channel. Something crazy is going to happen. We had no icing today. There was no storms. You know, it was relatively calm. safe. Relatively calm. Those of you who are watching, uh, we always, I always have plenty of fuel. Mm. I always make it to my destination safely. There's never any icing issues. I never make a mess of things. Uh, yeah, at night time, no. Not fighting at night time. Glad to land at night time. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Cutting engine. Okay, so I've cut the engine. All right. Uh, oh, got to think fast. Oh, there's no wind. Uh, what's going on with the controls? Oh, God, I've got control issues as well, as, here, as well folks. God. Uh, what the hell? I've got control issues too. Uh, I better land this thing. Uh, mm. Oh dear. Okay, I have a field. I'm at 1600 feet. Uh, I'm going to land. Uh, 
I have three choices now. And 1500 feet. The big grey one, so you can see it, okay? The big grey one. So I'm on a downwind now. I can see poles. I don't want to hit the poles, so I'm going to have to be perpendicular to them. Uh, as there's no wind, here we'd say it's coming from the east, which is rare enough. So I've got a cluster of fields selected here, okay? Um, okay. 65 knots is best glide speed on a 1.5, Now, I, this is my area here. I can't go over any of these boundaries. That's a crash. Uh, yeah. That is a crash. Oh, God. Don't lose sight of the field. If you lose sight of the field, you're in big trouble. So... There's the, the, hang on, bear with me. I'm concentrating hard and proper here. Uh, I'm definitely going to make it. Oh, I can't do the flaps because the side tech's not working. Brilliant. That's fabulous. Uh, make it harder for me, why don't you? All oh, the flaps are down. I'm going to do whatever. Oh, I'm going too fast. Side slipping. Oh, Jesus. I'm not going to make it. I'm going to make it, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to stop in time. Because I'm going too fast. I'm going too fast. Uh, get down. Breaky, breaky, breaky. Forward on the nose wheel. Oh, over the hedge. There goes the thunderflies. It's not breaking like a real airplane. Turning, 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 turning. Don't hit the wing, hit the ground. Hit the wing, hit the ground. Yeah, I think a little bit of damage was done there. I think I would have survived. I didn't hit the, the power lines. Uh, this transition here, there was no hedge here. Now, what I would have done is I was going so fast downhill, right? That I could have leaped over that if that was a ditch. I could have leaped it. Anyway, it was what it was. Look, we're not dead. But it, was, it wasn't my best, was it? It wasn't my best. Um, I, think th I think if the system didn't crash in my defense, it would have been a bit better. Copper Heat's doing a good job. Uh, OSO has hit the trees. Uh, Aerox is coming in now as well. Uh, here comes Aerox. No squirrels harmed, no animals are hurt in the making of this movie. And he's doing it on a on a TBM. Oh. Aerox is. And he's also into the trees. Death has just happened, ladies and gentlemen. Death has happened. And I think that's all that's joined us. Great. So I'm going to hit Y. I'm going to jump back up into the sky. Uh, and we're going to go back on our trip towards... Where's Colonel Clink? I'll just go a little bit ahead. Uh, Colonel, Colonel Clink is nearly in Weston, like I'm past uh, Phoenix Park and all that sort of stuff. Okay, well I'm above Dunleary here. Let's go above Dunleary just to annoy, uh, who was it? Who's doing a night shift? <laughs> uh, was it Oisk? Was it Oisk? Was it Oisk? I think it was Oisk. I think, I damn it, I can't remember. Oh, 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 what's going on? Uh, now, it's put me very, I didn't realise it was so high. Well, that won't do. So yeah, uh, fights some crashed. Very rarely crashes. I'm just coming down a bit lower to have a little bit more realistic. Uh, they never let you above certainly 3,000 feet around here in, in reality. ATC don't like that because of Dublin Airport. Yeah, so it closes <coughs> 1,500 feet max or something like that. Go for it. Yeah, <coughs> again. Oh, Jesus. Three thousand eight hundred feet. Let's keep it real. So yeah, there's traffic restrictions around here, close to the city. It's not too bad. We do this trip quite often. I do this trip as often as I can. Uh, and we're getting very close to Dublin Airport and then what's called the River Liffey. There we go, that's a bit more realistic, two thousand three hundred feet. So let's add full power now this time. And Let's just get this in. Now, I have to tell you, I'm going to start descending here. Sorry. This is a real story, and I think this is hilarious. I left this workplace once. Uh, oh no, so. I shortened it. Uh, I used to go, see this, this harbour here? It's called Dunleary. It's a few yacht clubs here. Some of them are for the incredibly rich people. Not very nice. I think it's called the Royal something or another. 
club. It's the it's the Royal Marina, isn't it? Yeah, there's three of them. There's the Irish and there's something else. Any of the Irish, they're all lovely. You know, uh, they go sailing and they're like, you know, plumbers and laborers and they all put together and they're all lovely and nice and you know some of them have have a big boat and it's just a nice it's not snobby basically anyway um i was saying i said to myself i fly really low here just I, it was a nice sunny day and they're all outside having beers and i used to go down and i'd socialize there a little bit and i was like this uh and the, the irish is just about here the irish sailing club and I did this, uh, and I just waggled the wings, and did a few passes. So, um, fine, what was the end of that? So on the way home I said, I'll go in, I'll call in, because they're all sitting outside having beers, and uh, there was all sorts of cheers, and how did you, you're a great guy, oh look, you're fabulous. It was one of the guys' birthdays, and they thought I did it for their birthday. And I was going, oh, you're so good for doing it for my birthday, uh, Gripper, you know? You're so good doing it for my birthday, look at you, and that was really nice, we all thought it was lovely. I was going, yeah, I, yeah, I knew. <laughs> I knew it was your birthday. One of those moments. So how are you getting on, Colonel Kick? I uh, just did my overhead and... Um they're just on a downwind now and about to turn on a base. Now, was it the Royal St. George? Yeah, that was the one I didn't like. The only reason I didn't like it was because when I came back from Australia, I had done some sailing courses. Okay. And I did a bit of sailing. Sydney's mad. And I didn't drink at the pubs. Everyone in Ireland goes and gets locked for their whole year in Australia. I didn't. I did other stuff. So, uh, I came back to Ireland going, oh, I'm going to go sailing. And I went into the Royal Irish, the Royal St. George. And I said, here I, yeah, my name is such and such, and I want to, you know, do some sailing lessons. And she looked at me oddly and she said, well, oh, there's the Thunderflies. And uh, she looks at me oddly and goes, yes, I, I, you can have a, a chat with Commodore something. God. So, went into his office sitting behind this old wooden desk all very oh, felt all very awkward uh, and I said and he says hello you're I, he says I, I believe I believe you're inquiring about sailing in this club I said yeah I just come back from Sydney and I got my certs and I just like to keep it going well he looks me up and down well do you own a boat <laughs> no well <laughs> you don't if you're not a boat owner you won't get any lessons here. So I was kind of disgusted. You know. So that was it for that. Until I went to the, to the Irish. So that was great. One of those stories everybody has. I was like, um... He I, wasn't English, uh, by the way. He was actually Irish. I didn't mean to be. Yeah, he was one of these Irish with a snobby accent. I can't do it. Sorry, Colonel Kick. I was, I was nearly thrown out of the sailing club. It's like, um... I went, I went in uh, and um, you know had, had had a good evening. It was great, it was great crack and all that sort of stuff. Like right, and one of the blokes he kept talking about sailing and like just and that and the other. And it's like uh, so I got bored. So at some stage I asked you, man, like you know, it's like uh, come here now, like you know, how long does it take to be any good at the whole sailing stuff? Like you know, and he goes like, oh, 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 oh. Uh, that takes years of practice, like, you know, and it's like uh, 10 years at least before you're any good, like, you know, and I says, 10 years, I says to him, that sounds like an awful waste of time, like, you know, and I says, he says, why is that? I says, well, you, you, you get, you get one of them boats, like, with an engine in the back, like, you know, you press a button and you're good straight away, like, you know, so you didn't see the funny side of that at all. Yeah, I mean, they don't know, I mean, where is this in Ireland? Uh, yeah. The yeah, so... Because in Australia, they just give you the keys. They give you a, yeah. a ten minute chat. Off you go. Here's the keys. Good day, mate. Hope you have yeah. a good time. The barbecues in the back of the boat, right? Uh, and it's great. Uh, they're all very nice, and everybody does it, and it's just the norm. But for some reason over here, it's a lot of snobbery attached to it in that particular place. Uh, I wasn't impressed. 
But I'm sure I just met the wrong person that day. You know, oh, yeah. Oh, well, some of the lads flying around Dublin. Uh, I'm so sure I'm, I met the wrong uh, person that day. I'm just yeah. uh, shot final on uh, on nice. two five. So guys, when we're coming into Dublin, the River Liffey is just below me here. See that? There's a the River Liffey. You're not allowed to go north, which is up this way, the River Liffey. It's that Dublin Airport there. There's the tower. I don't know if you can see it. There's the tower. That's Dublin Airport. Uh, and it looks pretty damn good. So that's how close it is. And, uh, you know, there's nowhere to land if you had an edge of failure. Well, I don't think it. Uh, a few places, but. Uh, there's the Phoenix Park. This is a nice park. There's deer and elk and stuff. Well, deer and stuff in there. Uh, no lines. Uh, there's a big cross in there. The Pope visited Dublin back in 1970-something. And well, we're still it, going on about it. He was, he was there recently, wasn't it? Like, uh, uh, 2018 or something like that, no? Was he back in here in Oh, he was. Yes. Yeah. It was yeah. The, the, was the, was the new Pope. <laughs> yeah, the newer one. Uh, the president's residence is in here. Um, you know, he's down there, and it's a, it's a restricted zone or it's a prohibited zone. There's the canal there. Now, here's you love this, folks. If you're still on, right? Uh, this is Weston up here, right? Uh, just there, where that little lake is. Okay. And we come in here. We go to Palmerstown Roundabout. That's a, that's a, that's here. And we, we kind of tell them, we're, we, t we tell ATC we're at Parmesan around a bit. And then we go straight in for West. Over here, you can't see it, you're not coming outside. Over, over across the way, is Baldonnel. It's three, Baldonnel is Ireland's version of a military airport. Look, uh, I haven't shown you this properly. Let me show you this properly. Just turn a bit. Get in the view of the cockpit. So there, where is it? There's Baldonnel. <laughs> you love this, right? There's Baldonnel. Military. It's not really military. It's I don't know. The air. They fly Cessnas and they're painted. They're painted. Ah, uh, they have lots of nice. They look. They're fine, right? Well, the, the lads flying the airplane are fine. The pilots are fine. Uh, and Baldonnel is three nautical miles as the cry flows. So sometimes people go, oh. Jeez, here's Weston, and they fly into Baldonnel. <laughs> and they go, oh, great. And then they get out, and it's all very embarrassing, right? <laughs> That's one thing that happens. The other thing that happens is, in the past, is they don't like Weston very much. Baldonnel. Because we're so close to them. I'm going to go off on one current thing if I talk about Baldonnel. Oh, yeah, no, it's like, uh, you, you and, see, I'm, I'm just I'm thinking about. It. If, if somebody if somebody is listening to that now, like you know, from Baldonnel, like you know, it's like and he's easy, he, he listens to you in the air, like you know, yeah. he's gonna give you crappy uh, instructions. I'm gonna tell the truth here. <laughs> now. So it's like uh, I'm yeah. Let me think about this now. I'm gonna say uh, anyway. It was a foggy day one day. I'll tell you this one. Foggy day, and all the fog was just around the Western Airport. Right. So we couldn't land. All the instructors were coming back from the West, and we can't land. You want to get a few. So you go, hey, Baldonnel, hiya. Look it. Uh, you're just there. Can we land until the fog goes? Because we can't see our runway. Uh, no. No, you can't. Unless you declare an emergency. Well, it's not an emergency as such. I was on the ground now, because I wouldn't fly that day, because I had a feeling there would be... It was after the snow and the sun came out and the snow evaporates and you get fog, okay? So I just, it was an educated guess on my part. I, so I didn't fly. So anyway, all the lads are going, ah, you can hear it on the radio, you know? You can hear it on the radio. Can we let, no, no. Declare an emergency. And the lads are going, well, it's not an emergency. Uh, so, uh, can we land? No. Declare an emergency. So I thought that was very unfair. I didn't think that was very nice. Oh, I've gone past the centre line. Uh, but the lads, flying. Top, top shelf stuff, you know? I think they're getting some new aircraft into Baldonnel. Well, it's, they, they have, uh, uh, um, they have a couple of new PC-12s, uh, um, which they, uh, 
which which they're flying at the moment. It's like I think they have like uh, um, new transport aircraft as well. Uh, it's like um, that's far too much. I'm breaking all the rules here because it's the, I find this Cessna when you take the power back it doesn't create enough slow down drag. No, it doesn't. So I had to size the flaps down, folks. It's very blunt. So yeah, this is exactly this is just what we see. This is that's how realistic flight simulator is. It's absolutely bizarrely realistic. This is what we see, right? I'm going to do a circuit screen click, okay? I'm going to touch and go. Oh, okay. Uh, and just just have a look here. Floaty, floaty, float. And this is a touch and go, lads, listen. That's a touch. Touch and go. Uh, make some of the flaps off. I should have taken them in the run, you know. Anyway, I'm not doing a problem. But, as we take off here, and this is this is gold dust, right? This river here, this it's a river and it kind of forms into a lake. The River Liffey, I think. Is it? Oh, anyway, that lake there, right? This building here is HP. Oh no, it's not. It's Intel, actually. It's uh, like it's uh, that is leak slip. That is Intel, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's, it's an Intel or it's Intel. It's Intel, the white one. Yeah, the other one is is anyway. Uh, they don't like us flying overhead. You notice also, I took a right turn right after takeoff. I took turn right there because it's a stud farm here, somewhere. It's actually in here, I think. I think. Somewhere around there. So I take a right, uh, but I'm doing left-hand circuits. So we kind of... That looks very like the real thing. Yeah, it's it's HP, I think, because it's white. I'm pretty sure it's HP. The other one is Intel. Uh, anyway, that building. So it's a thousand-foot circuit. I'm almost there, and now I take a right here. And i got to try something. I'm going to do one more circuit, if I may. Okay. I'm going to do one more circuit, 1,000 feet. Trim, trim, trim. This is what we see. We see this all the time. I'm just going to level the wing here because I can't look. There we go. There's the one, mate. Now, we're, we're heading now towards Baldano now. So we do want to turn past the canal that's here. Otherwise, it's big trouble. I'm going too fast, but I'll keep the power going. There's Baldano up here. The military airfield. Uh, the canal, I can't see it, though. Anyway, we keep it tight. Is that it there? That's it. So we want to turn before the canal. Or the railway track, sorry. There's a railway track. You can't go past the railway track or past the canal. Certainly past the railway track. So little things like that in circuits and local circuits you have. Uh, and now I'm turning out to my downwind. Uh, uh, and I've gone 200 feet too high. There goes the thunderflies, folks. Look at that. So there we are on downwind. Uh, I'm gaining high because I, I, you'd never have full power. It takes a long time uh, to do a circuit. It's not when you first start training, I can tell you. I'm doing 122 knots here. But it's slow for me now. But that's the view. There it is. Let me get rid of all the clutter. That is uh, also downloadable from flightsim.to. It just looks a bit more like the real thing. But this river here. So we turned over the river, we took a right turn for a left-hand circuit, skipped here and turned around again because of the stub farm. So there's little things for noise abatement. Uh, there's a great school there actually. Uh, they're, they're called the National Flight Centre, a change of ownership. And since the change of ownership, wow, I was impressed uh, not just by their, the way they've changed everything physically, whole attitude is very professional. Did they go back from Abishu or, or they're still in Abishu? Uh, during the Covid they went to Abishu because Weston actually closed the airport itself so they went to Abishu and they're still operating. Everyone was happy. Now I'm going to take all the power off and start lowering flaps so it's a very good flying skill more so than ever because get them in and get them out. That's the whole thing. Get them in and get them out and for a student uh, you don't need to be spending money unnecessarily. You know what I mean? And there are tons of students there, and they're very professional. Getting airline jobs like there's no tomorrow. Uh, now, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to have an engine failure after takeoff. Because I had my eye on some fields. If I had an engine failure after takeoff here, let's see if. Because I've never tried this. Uh, I know this. it does float. I mean, this should be dying. The speed should be dying here. 
74 knots to it. But I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, I'm going to try the engine failure. At least I get to choose the engine failure. There we go. Got another central line grip him. Not very nice. Wasn't happy with that. Take the flaps up the road, but I have to use a mouse. Uh, using peripheral vision to steer now. Leave it up. Leave it up. Uh, and up you go. So the, the field's there. There's some fields here. And there was a certain point where there was nowhere to go. Uh, not dead ahead. It was about here. Got in the engine. Got in the engine. Oh, don't stutter and crash me, please. 65 knots. 65 knots. Those tight lads. But this is one of the fields that we would select for an engine failure. Uh, do whatever you need to get it in. Get it down. Hard. And stop it. Stop it. I'm turning. The brakes are not good. Yeah, okay. I really put myself out there. If I didn't make that... I don't know. Someone from Meston might be watching. So, interesting. So, uh, that is an interesting choice. This is something... So, what I did there, okay was when we're taking off this end of the runway if you have an engine failure on the road you just stop if you have an engine failure immediately after takeoff uh, and there's remaining runway available you land back in the runway so there's a point where you get to which is about here right there's no more really ahead to land depending on the wind if you've got a strong wind you'll be fine uh, so this here one of these three fields we've always said would work and there you go. One, two, and three. So that's an interesting thing to try. Uh, there's other places around. So you're always aware as, as a pilot, as an instructor. At least I am. Because all you're flying all the time, every day. And you want to have... It's just that one day. It's that one day. You know? Uh, for that one time. Like for the other... You know? you got to have it all planned out, don't you? Because you can't stop. So that... Yep. Well, you will stop. Eventually. Yeah, you don't want to stop too sudden. You know. But you think of all these things, you know. Which is nice. But it's a great place. Uh, this is downloaded from flightsim.to. This is free. Uh, and that's the actual... Very similar to the actual building. And uh, there used to be a bar in here. I think there still is, but it's closed. You know, well, the COVID. it's the bar in here. It's in the in, in the in the uh, tower building. There is the bar in there. There's a restaurant and everything. Uh, and back in the day, we'd all be busy. Uh, see, I took the weekends, so uh, Saturday and Sunday off. So back in the, in the in the day, uh, the uh, we could have some pints if we weren't working the next two days, and get sloshed, and we get sloshed in here the other occasion. I don't know like, um, line the next day or anything like that. But yeah, we had some parties. Oh, there goes the thunderflies. It's like even nice, uh, uh, you know, uh, go there for a meal or something like that. It's actually a very nice restaurant. Yep. It is. It is. A little bit expensive. Yeah. If you're if you're working there all the time. But, you know, it, it's bizarre looking at this at the simulator. Those tables are exactly as they were, by the way. Whoever did this, fantastic. The bar was a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, it's good. Uh, the hangar in here. You can go in the hangar. Park your airplane. And there you go. That's Western Airfield. One of the bigger schools in the east coast of the country. And it's it's very professional now. It's very good. So yeah, uh, it's it's actually quite well done. Those tanks are actually there. And you know, as the thunder flies. All the cars are there. The back of the building's well done. That's as it is. You know. Uh, yeah. So that, folks, let's thank uh, Colonel Fink for coming on again. Uh, thanks, Colonel Fink. No worries. Uh, Bunker Titan, uh, USO, Stairway to Bacon. I hope I get everyone now. Oh, Nutty Cracker. Uh, Nutty's Cracker, welcome. Nutty Slack. Welcome. Uh, I'm the Doctor, Skyhawk, Wobbly Skitfish, Colonel Clink as always, uh, Davo. Uh, it's Nordically Neza. There's Bunker Titan flying around. Uh, we also have Frozen. Joey Mack is here as well. Uh, Scorpio, I think he's with us. Scorpio, welcome. Uh, more people are joining. Stairway to Bacon. 
rocket shelf. Maybe some of them are just floating around. But anyway, welcome <laughs> to them too. So guys, do you know what? And thanks to the Thunderflies. A two-tone Murphy. I will try again this Saturday. I'll send you an email and we'll get on the phone. And we'll do something. So guys, you know, uh, I hope you have this week. It's going to be a good week for you. Uh, my plan is, is, I know my little grumpy video, uh, it was very annoying actually. I, I, I ran out of time and I couldn't post anything. So I said, I'll just tell them why I'm not online on YouTube. So I might come in here and do some streaming, quick streams. I want to look at the Coronado and give you my impressions. It's going to be quite good uh, for those who don't watch the stream. And guys, thank you very much for your support. There has been emails coming in. I haven't looked at the comments. I didn't want to look at the comments in my last video. And there's some emails coming in. And, and I said, oh shit, I'm fucking... I start things up now. Uh, I'm not quitting, you know. I don't wanna. I'm not gonna quit. I just had a Barney, you know, because couldn't get videos out. So there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully, I will see you sooner than Friday, uh, and I'll stream on Friday, uh, before Friday anyway, as normal. Uh, just frozen. And what else can I say, kind of thing? But thanks, guys, and I'm looking forward to you seeing you next uh, Sunday. Every Sunday, nine o'clock Irish time. And you can join us in the North European server in Microsoft Flight Simulator. You're all very welcome to fly along. And that was fun, I think. Uh, yeah, I th no, that, that was good crack. Uh, yeah, it was good crack, absolutely. Uh, I think it's some more really dangerous stuff next week, I think. What do you say? Yeah, there might be some more interesting uh, Icing stuff. Icing and, and, and murder, death, kill stuff. The Thunderflies yeah. are coming into land. Uh, some murder, death, kill. Uh, thanks USO, thanks Stairway, thanks Johnny F, Skipish, Davo, uh, Golden77, Davo, Skip, and I'm repeating myself, it's Nordically. Thanks a million guys, and uh, we'll see you very soon on Gripper Sim. <laughs> oh, I've got uh, the outro. Oh, the outro. See you guys. See you later. Thanks Fireflies and everybody. <laughs>